17th of May. Welcome to TDA, the day after. The home of popular culture as defined by us. The popular culture, right? And of course, we are hosted by the absolute best. Please introduce yourselves. Big Margs in the building. You know what time it is already. <laughs> Keep changing it up, but okay. I love I'm, it. Yeah. I'm here every day, man. I like consistency. Daddy issues, <laughs> but yeah, sorry. It's the Shade Queen. My own royalty is here with me as well. Yo, beautiful people, it's Big Coy defending your right to fuck it up. So we're a competition. Yeah, the you competition. Go, I thought, <laughs> I thought it was a man first. Go, go, go on, go on, Yusuf. Yusuf, aka Big Man Use, the newest member of TDA. Love it. The music man. Okay. The new kid on the block. First of all, okay. you're, you're trying it. You're trying it. <laughs> I'm just adding a few. You said, you know what? E-Man has a lot. E-Man has a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so dumb. And then we're going to end with the producer himself. Yes, they call me E-Man. Pro black activist. Boy. Okay. TDA producer, news analyst. Okay. Come on. Melanin jam packed. Boy, boy. Yeah, that's Do it. you guys feel a way that we don't ad lib <laughs> you guys when we do E-Man? No. No, okay, good. They're secure. I'm, I'm secure. They're oh, secure. Because love it. Love it. we weren't going to ad lib you even if you the way. <laughs> no, we would on their birthdays, but it's fine. Yeah. I can't wait for the first birthday. I don't know who it is. Who's it? Yeah. I don't know. How are you guys? I'm man? not in on my birthday. Yes, you are. Why not? Why not? Okay, I am. She just, she just yeah. told me. Are you going to be in on your I was birthday? just trying. I was just putting it out there to see how it gets. We've received. got a surprise for you. Okay, yeah, I'm here. I'm definitely Yeah, okay. I love that. Where's, You're where's such she, a kid. When's your birthday? August 25th. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. soon. Yeah. Mine's before that, by the way. So. You wouldn't get surprised if you just surprised me. <laughs> 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 just that bit. Man's the second. <laughs> if you want oh, something that's your birthday. Is it yeah. going to be like work where you get like everyone's money together? Well, mine's the first birthday, so you no, can see how... When's your birthday? Oh, your birthday's next month. Next month. Yeah, but you have to come on. But you're new. After yeah, what? you're new. You should have yeah. earned yeah. so, your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 but by, yeah. by the time my birthday comes around, year. I won't be new anymore, would I? No. Yeah, okay, what date's your birthday? June the 14th. Ah, it's too soon. Do you know what? No, 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 no. Really too soon. Do you know what? It would actually that's, be that's, fourth that's week. That's a whole month away. Okay, yeah, yeah. It just yeah. really depends on how we feel about you towards these days. Like, that's it. That's about 20 episodes, bro. <laughs> yeah, <I> have, <laughs> that's a long time. I have high expectations for you. I really do, but I don't, I can't get attached anymore. So. Wow. Honestly, um, give me PTSD now. But Sweet. yeah, guys, somebody spoke to me about yesterday's episode. What happened? What? Something what? Esther said. Oh. It wasn't that bad. It was when okay. you said um, something about I, you mentioned, you know, the insist, what would you do? Oh, yes. So something about, we spoke about bad sex. Like, oh, yes. Having bad sex. And that's the, apparently what you said really landed. So you're oh, like, I yeah, say what's it's probably, it, pardon? No, no, my God. You're like, something like, it's probably bad, bad sex. And I was like, oh, do you mean just back shots? And then you said something. I can't remember what they said, but it made me think, what defines bad sex for all of you guys? <laughs> early morning? Um, mm, early. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start on the time. 8.35. Um, I think... <laughs> For me, I just, for me, okay, do you know, for me, if a guy is not present. Okay. Do you know what I mean by that? Absent-minded. Yeah, the absent-minded and you, you don't care enough for my needs to. Okay. So you're not present in what we're doing. Okay. That will make it bad sex. Okay. What about you guys? Because we care about your opinion. I feel the same. <laughs> you know you don't. <laughs> but she's, but she's, no, you don't. Don't back off my point. <laughs> present. No, I just need, I need presence. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm trying to say? No, I need was... presence. I need to be seen. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, man. I need to feel heard. Yeah, I need to feel heard and to be seen. You know what I'm trying to say? That. And okay, well, that's that's the count. If I don't feel heard or feel seen, then we just gave, sex just yeah. ain't. It's just not sexing. It's, it's not, not sexing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, what about you, you sis? I'll say, E-man, get I'll ready. say a lack of chemistry. Okay. okay. A lack of cohesion. Okay. Um, cohesion, okay. I'll hmm. say bad kissing. Like, when, when the kiss is not connected. Oh, yeah. To me, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, well, like teeth hitting and that. The, the intimacy kind of dips when the kissing is not yeah, really okay, meshing well, isn't it? Okay. Um, oh, there's more. Okay. I'll, I'll <laughs> you got a name. You, you, man. I'll, I'll, I'll stop there. <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> Why you know that me, though, man? Huh? This is down to the, the host, man. Oh, don't try it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to have a whole, whole segment. List. You want to have a whole segment. Intro. Yeah, yeah. You want to side with, with um, conservatives. And men in jump back. But when the no. people want to hear something they can relate to. Uh, you, you know what? what? I, I, pretty much, I would kind of agree with Esther in it. Presence. Men presence, are yeah. so annoying. Well, okay, that's Quite? good. <laughs> Don't try it. Yeah, for real. <laughs> what is yours? Well, like, based off of um historical facts, historical I feel like facts. the moment I felt like I, was t- I tapped out of sex was just... It it literally was just always head like always. He was just heavy on the head. And don't get me wrong, I love. A As bit. in, sorry, giving or receiving. Giving. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So like, oh yeah, it's, yeah, given. Um, but he was always. <laughs> 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 like, yeah. 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 Him giving me. Yeah. 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 It was him. Yeah. Him giving me. That, that was his thing. Like it was, and it's like it's kind of like going to a restaurant and only having the starter. Okay. Like, I want like. like no, like, like, let's go like, through other was, areas. Probably people watching at home proper offended. Like, you know, like when them rich people scream in poverty. Like, <laughs> yeah. This is your no, problem. No, too no. much head. <laughs> Do you know what's bad sex? When you're just getting too <laughs> much <laughs> head. No, you know, they just want to constantly <laughs> give you head. There's people at home thinking, what? At least you're getting some. Is this getting easier or something? What? Too much neck. That's Imagine that's that here and told you. Like, that's actually oh, you don't want to, you don't want to, I mean, they just want to <laughs> suck me off too much. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what are we doing there, man? No, I hear it. I hear it though, because. Listen, no, because like, I, I don't hear it. No, 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 no I hear it because like, too, too much of one starter. thing is too much, isn't it? It's literally, it was it's like. It's just a starter. It was Where's like, the main? More head monster, more head like. <laughs> head monster. You find yourself a fiend. Hold on, hold on. Was it a case of he didn't want to have sex with you? He just wanted to give you No, he wasn't. No, he, but it's just that that was. His like his master thing. move. Oh yeah. no! <laughs> oh no! That was like his master move, and it was like it was. Like, listen, having calamari is great, but then eventually you don't. I go want a lobster, just, right? I want, I want like steak. Yeah, potatoes, wilted yeah. spinach, lentils. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? That surprised so, yeah. me a little bit. So that was that was it. But that was when I wasn't like that empowered. So I didn't. This was younger, so mm. I didn't correct him. Okay. So yeah. so it was it was uh, it was a joint mutual. L. Suffering, mm. yeah. But I'm sorry that my suffering ain't like your suffering. No, no, man. Imagine, <laughs> I can imagine it's, it's, a, a, yeah, ever, it's an overkill. It's, like, oh. it's an overkill. Like, oh, but, here we go again. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Head again. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't I'm, have. Just... <laughs> you shouldn't have, man. But oh, guys, I needed to say that because I feel like yesterday's episode was so heavy. We need to start with a bit of some stuff. Absolutely. But guys, let's jump into headline number one. <laughs> Oh, All right, guys. So let's take it serious, yeah. So there have been four more cases of monkeypox. So as you guys know, we spoke about this yesterday, where there were two that were discovered on the seventh of May and the fourteenth of May. Now there's a reported new four cases: Mm-mm-mm. three in London and one in North East England. Um, the UK Health um Security Agency says that the risk to the public health is very low, although it appears that the individuals caught this in the UK. Investigations are underway to establish links between the latest four cases, um, who all appear to have been affected in London, infected in London. Currently, common case um. Co- so currently common contacts have been identified for two of the four latest cases all four self-identify as gay bisexual or other men who have had sex with men um for those concerned about how it presents it usually takes five to 21 days for the first symptoms to appear the symptoms are fever backache muscle aches um swollen lymph nodes chills and exhaustion a rash can develop often beginning on the face and then spread into other parts of the body bear in mind it is not easily spread between people so i guess you don't need to be too scared but yeah thoughts i hate that they identified them as gay because i just think oh yeah exactly like why is that is that is it sexually transmitted or? I mean, it says you, you can barely get it just by touching. Like it doesn't seem like it's the most contagious so disease. Why, why so. do people stay in their business? I don't cheeky, know. Cheeky. They're about to start an agenda. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I think this is how the the Rona thing happened. They said the risk was very low, <laughs> and then two years later, was it? Are we in the third year now? I think we're third three yeah. years now. Three years. Look yeah. what's happened. So yeah, yeah. I don't believe the public. Or oh, the health okay. People. Not, no, they, I did, no one ain't dying. Did anybody die? No, not yet. I yeah, but not. we just yeah. came out. We just came out of something serious, man. I mean, pox and that. Just give them the um, what's it called, the chamomile or something. <laughs> so Go nice. away, just, man. Just give them the chamomile. Go away. No, nah, because what we just went through was was dead serious. I'm not saying this. Well, I don't even know. Where but I think this this could be the start of something serious. Yeah, yeah, but it's not what you know what I mean. Is it is it going to be like not contagious? Like that? Is it going to be um fatal? It could. It could, it could be. be. We don't know. We don't know what you don't know. Yeah, you know, in the past, people have died from monkeypox. Mm. I, I guess now they pretty much got it under control. Well, the last time, you know, there was an outbreak, but yeah, probably I, won't be as bad as COVID, but still. I think it's really funny that you said that we came out of it really serious because the feeling I get from how you speak about COVID is that you didn't see it as too serious, that you still navigated your life. Mm. Yeah. And but, that I had a thought process that, you know, this has says it, a rash develops. And I remember somebody when COVID was happening and saying, if COVID had like something that made you less attractive, maybe like a rash on oh, your yeah, face yeah. or something, everybody in the world would have took it, or, like took it more seriously. Yeah, mm. Like, mm. it was because of the fact that it was like, internal. Some people was, it was internal. internal. Right. So like, it just made me think, 
are we vain? Mm. <laughs> yeah, of course oh, no, we're we vain. actually are. Because yeah, if Absolutely. it was something that made us look crazy or bad or whatever, we wouldn't want to be seen by anyone. Yeah. But mm. we were really into like risk it all for bubbles and yeah. bubble transfers. So you're gonna stop going out because of the monkey box? No, because they haven't they haven't told me that. It doesn't so, seem to be so coming. Wait, she said all of that and <laughs> that's what you picked up. <laughs> seems to be um something that is affecting men so far. But... Can you imagine? Is that a boy? I'm just saying, it seems like a man's all problem. All the best to all parties involved. <laughs> That's what I can say. Basically, it can be spread through touching clothes, bedding, or towels used by someone who's got the, the rash. Um, so you're, you you're naked? Actually, basically. Well, you're I naked, guess. don't get someone else's bed <laughs> or naked. If, or, because then you might get it. It could be um, someone who works at hotels. Oh, shit. Know, oh, yeah. Doing things like that, and then and take spreads. it home with you, yeah. stuff like that. Um, yeah, and obviously, coughs and sneezes of that person as well. So also, coughs and sneezes. I hate, I hate mm-hmm. when things are transmitted um, by cough and sneeze because you can't control that. You yeah, just be coughing in your house. Maybe you have no manners. Yeah, I was really scared to cough during COVID, like peak time. Oh my gosh. Oh, you know when you're genuinely choking, everyone's looking at you. I'm like, no, honestly. Yeah. But sometimes you just got to, you got to cough, man. Like, oh, there's one time on the train, I'm almost, I'm almost dying. Yeah, same. I'm not trying to cough. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I, I had to drive like, through. I was what's that? <laughs> I was and dying. And the thing was packed, but the cough I wanted to let out was so violent. Yeah. I couldn't do it. Yeah. Because I was just embarrassed because of people yeah. around. So I tried to I was actually in, choking, yeah. But I felt like I was going to pass out from like, trying yeah. to hold the coughing. I can relate. Do you know, I can relate. As somebody who frequently takes train, yeah, <laughs> he would have just have coughing. Yeah. 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 No, no, the cough I wanted to let out was violent. Like, yeah, and you're a big guy as well. Yeah. So that you're, you're bringing race and health when everything gets So I was just there like this, like, <laughs> that would scare me we'll, still. Yeah. People still give you looks now if you cough yeah. or something. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens to me in the hospital? Because in the hospital, I was like, okay, you can't cough, don't cough. And then because I was saying to myself not to cough, I didn't want it to cough. <laughs> You're anymore. so rebellious. So I started choking. And I was just like, and I was just like, yeah, I can't ask you because I got, I got I sneeze and if I sneeze sometimes, like, not even if I sneeze once, I know I'm gonna sneeze twice or at okay. least three times. So I was on the train one time, I'd be sneezing all over. The place. Oh my gosh! There's a woman looking at me. But why strange. do you look happy about this? Why do you look happy about this? Do you know what my She's pet peeve me, is? She's looking at me. It's like it's too late. If you got it, if I got it, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's too late. Just sit my there. pet peeve yeah, is when people sneeze into their hands mm-hmm. and then do this and go about what their day. What the hell? Like so I've disgusting. seen it. Like they. And then they'll do that like, as if that gets rid of it somehow. And then they go about their day and that really freaks That's me so out. Nasty. That really, and a lot of people do that. That's but so the nasty. optics of it, it's just like, it's just, it's just, um, it's playing tricks on your mind. Like it's not really that like, true because the, the reality, the reality, That's not true, babes. the reality is, yeah, we walk into people that's coughing and sneezing mm. and all the time, like you just can't see it. It's just it looks just looks that bad. When if you I hear it. someone it's not coughing, really that much of a big deal. I would, really. If I hear someone coughing and I have to walk that way, I hold my breath. No, yes. even like all Sometimes this stuff, all these yeah. people yeah. sneezing, all this, even like. Our every day to maintain that like, the things that we have to go through, yeah, we just don't think about any of that. Think about uh, like, how much people handle our food yeah, yeah. that we eat and stuff like that. That's why like, I don't do delivery. Like, or everything, like yeah. everything that we consume. Like, do you know? Yeah, if you put like a microscope, mm-hmm. microscope, sorry, microscope. It's all right, it's all right. We don't speak English. On like this room, like you know the ones that pop up, like zoom in on like a million times. Shade Brent, on Brent is that first of all? Do you know? No, okay, no. I mean, <laughs> she anyway, she she you know how? No, not this studio. I mean, any room. Do you know how much germs exist? Yeah. Okay. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say so okay. we're, we're around but all the time do but if we don't control. see it yeah. it doesn't really affect us exactly because we don't see it because yeah. things already I, wanna... I worry about a lot anyway so I don't have to think about like deeper because yeah. I'm already going through it yeah. with the, <laughs> so with the gems surviving. I'm thinking about <laughs> just about so yeah you have everything like just known to man you mean yeah you got not, but everything. Like, honestly, not everything but have you have, you have all the little amen amen oh I got what you mean yeah I'm very like that yeah like we discovered this morning she's got allergies as well yeah. Oh, is it? To, to foods. But yeah. it, she has allergies, very valid. But she, look at her. You're, you're minimizing my struggle. I don't appreciate that. She said, not my quote. I would expect that from the <laughs> guys not, here. No, because I actually don't want you to have allergies. I feel like some. No, but I do have allergies. That's I know, my reality. But I really will you to not have to like worry I about it. Listen, I went to Nigeria <laughs> for a wedding <laughs> and I was allergic to the, to the dress I wore. Shingles. I split my scars. I've right. still got scars from it. Yeah. I'd be allergic to shit. I know, but because I I was I thought I couldn't see. And so we we went to the doctor, what the eye doctors, whatever they're called. Um, <laughs> <that's voice. the, laughs> and then they gave me glasses, but I didn't use them. And then my sight came back. Came back because I tested my eyeballs. I made that's them good. stronger. I tried to make my stronger, stronger and I just had migraines. <laughs> what kind of misinformation are we spreading there? What's it going? <laughs> Wait, tell, was it, tell, tell me the story again. I'm saying so my eye. So at one point, I felt like I was struggling to my eyeballs to focus in it. So we went to. Op- I doctor, yeah. And then he was like, okay, she was like, here's, you know, here's some glasses. I don't think, she was like, here's some glasses, isn't it? Yeah. Then I was just like, 
I don't know. Not I have a problem with glasses, but I was like, I don't know if I need glasses. Even though you went to her. I, I know, but I was like, because she also told me that sometimes they ped, they push out glasses just to make money. Sometimes people don't need them. She, mm. I remember her saying that. Maybe she made too much of an impression on me. So then I said, I'm just going to firm it. Yeah. Turns out, I think I was just bored at work because when I left that job, my eyesight felt a lot better. The end. So there we How go. How do you get, do you know what? And also when I couldn't hair properly <laughs> as well. Can't. When I couldn't hair properly as well, couple times firming it. No, now I feel like I can hear better. So I don't know. I'm okay. not saying that your things are not valid, but sometimes push through. <laughs> I've tried to I've tried to push through, push through the eyesight one. Okay. It, I just had really bad ma- uh, migraines. So okay. Couldn't push through that. I'm not gonna yeah, lie, yeah. that's that's very insensitive, man. What that what? But I she's said, minimizing my struggle. I said, oh, just push through. Like yeah, no, like, I said no. I said no. <laughs> no, no, I just, I don't know. Okay, you're right. Maybe I'm doing too much strong you black just, woman. You just I come from a good place. Things. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. I come from a good place, but yeah. I your, appreciate that. Your story I appreciate is valid, care. 100%. But guys, um, there's more things for us to see in this world. Amen. You see what I did there? All right, so the UK first open gay footballer, guys. Um, okay. So Blackpool FC. Um, forward Oh it's forward That's a position Okay 70 year old Jake Daniels Has come out as gay In a televised interview Yesterday afternoon okay. The first thing that came to me Is that there's going to be So many PR deals for him um, mm-hmm. like, And like Brand deals But yeah The last um, professional f- footballer British footballer To come out as gay Was Justin Fashanu Who was black So how was um, he the first then? Nigerian Nigerian Pardon? Oh Jacob. I was going to say How was he first If there was someone that Already did it No He's he just been the first In a long footballer. time Was Justin Fashanu playing When he yeah. came out? Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah he was. Oh. But maybe he's just in a long time because yeah. um, Justin Fashu came out in 1990, um, age 29. Well, and it's scary. And it also led to him taking his life. But that was after he was um, oh, no. he was accused of sexual assault. Oh, no. Um, but I actually followed up on that story, so it's quite sad. J- um, Jake Daniels said he was keen to break the stigma and has become the only openly gay male pro currently playing in the country. So maybe currently. I'm um, speaking to Sky Sports. He said, it's been quite a crazy year. I'm 17. I've signed a professional contract. I've scored 30 goals a season and I've just made my first team debut in the championship. And now I've decided to come out. Everything has happened at once, but it feels right. When the season started, I just wanted to prove myself as a player. I think I have. So this was the this was the one last thing in my head that I knew I needed to do. Now it's out and people know. Now I can just live my life how I want to. And you know what? It's been incredible. I can imagine his announcement even prompted Prime Minister Mm-mm. Prime Minister he, Bosch, he wants to do everything by his job to say thank you for your bravery Jake it's, it would have sorry it would have taken huge courage to come out and you will be an inspiration to many both on and off the pitch how about you inspire the taxes how about that <laughs> um, yeah man okay do you know what do you know what I always think about who is that rapper um, a common queer black rapper Lil Nas I just think, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lil Nas X. I just think if he never came out, how like creatively he wouldn't get to be who he expresses himself to be. Like, I think it's a big deal. But I feel like he was already himself though, wasn't he? I don't know. I mean, yeah, he came out with the, I don't know, because he didn't come out straight away. He came out yeah. after um, the yeah, Cowboys. First, remember, first of all, he was just doing the, the whole country vibe, innit? Oh, when, yeah. when he came Old out, that's yeah. when he became a lot more creative. Open, boy. creative, yeah. colourful and, you know, yeah. loud with his dress sense and stuff. And like, imagine not being able to like express, express yourself, yourself yeah, like yeah. the way you want, do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I, I mean, because now he's mad expressive, do you know yeah. what I mean? To the point where he doesn't even mind upsetting people. But he's a barb like though, so he was always going to be like that. Yeah. Fair. The thing is, in, in this day and age, I don't even see why this is even... Yeah, like, this is I get thing. why this is a big deal because... Yeah. There is a stigma attached to homosexuality and sports, especially football. But oh, yeah, I think okay. in this day and age we live in where everything is about, you know, free expression and... Yeah. I don't understand why the stigma still exists. Mm. Like you used to feel jumping ahead of time. What do you mean? This is going to be what we talk about in our next segment. So let's jump in. But isn't isn't this the segment? No, we have a next segment called Topic of the Day, what you say. Do your homework, Maybe yeah? if you did, this is very... No, by the way, this wasn't me telling you off. I was just trying to segue into it because <laughs> you seem attacked. So jump. <laughs> you attacked. Jump. Jump. <laughs> Oh, this was just a headline. <laughs> Fuck it up. But no, it's all right. There we go. Don't try, don't try and make her feel better about singing her ad lib. So, Yusuf already kind of started the conversation um, about sexuality in sports. Like, the, do we still care? Like, is this necessary? I would argue that it is. Um, and are there still more people in the closet? I would definitely argue that there are. What, um, what kind of question? <laughs> do you know what I mean? The producer are. is on her next thing today. <laughs> Jam-packed melanin and that. Um, <laughs> and is it really a big do- deal in today's society given the normality of open members of the LGBT community? Um, and does it differ in sports? Why does it... Why does it differ in sports? What my man said. I don't know what I mean. But yeah, so like, yeah, let's me, just keep going that? with your point. Because yeah. I feel like you're onto some. Yeah, no, I was saying that I've, I do feel like it's it shouldn't be a stigma anymore. Yeah. It shouldn't be something that people shy away from admitting. 
I think we live in a society today where everyone is more accepting of different. And when you look at football as well, like it's men, you know, they they see each other naked, they're in the bath together, they're slapping each other's asses, like there's in the showers together. You know what I mean? Bath. <laughs> it's like so you don't you don't expect you don't expect um an openly gay footballer to get abused from terraces. No, I expect it because I know there's still prejudice out there. It wouldn't even, not even just a case of prejudice, just because it's like, even though it's distasteful, it's just like, like bantering the opposition in that kind of sense. Like some of them might not even really, even like care that much. It's just ammunition to to, to chat shit about, man. I'm saying, but you don't think that's going to be that expected? I think it will happen. That's what I'm saying. So that's probably why there's things around it or why people even be to be fair yeah okay cool from, like from a fan sta- from a stand st- from a fan standpoint and in terms of that player getting backlash or, or being bantered by opposition fans I get that I wasn't thinking about that to be fair I was thinking about more so him coming out to his teammates okay or to his fans yeah for the most part yeah whether they even like come out or not the teammates would probably would would, would know like I mean, unless there's someone's like really, really deep yeah. in the closet, like hiding it, like you, you, like the teammates ain't gonna be. I don't think the teammates are gonna be too. I don't think teammates shocked. will care. No, like, unless, really. unless, unless a said person has homophobic teammates, mm. I don't think the teammates would care. I don't think they would necessarily know, you know, because it's not like there's a way to act, like you, like act like your sexuality. It's not more so like, acting. No, it's more so the optics. Like, oh, okay, so cool. like when they go have, out to get have girls, have we ever seen interested. this player with a girl? Okay, has he ever talked about a girl? Okay. Is there, you know what I mean, like. Okay. See, for me, I remember saying this at school one time, yeah. I was like, you see those gangs, yeah? I was like, because I, I feel like we're very privileged in that we live in a metropolitan city, so we know that this is, a lot of people are gay, and that's just like a norm. But I feel like the reason why these probably still need to come out is because like, there's areas in the shires or whatever where like people just don't have a very different mindset. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And I think having him come out and, and not hiding, because hiding something... Makes it associated with shame. Yeah, yeah. So it suggests that it's a bad thing. Yeah. and I do think we this because there's an argument just in general, not just in sports. But do people need to come out anymore? And it's like, don't be privileged to think just because you don't care mm. or you don't mind that the rest of the world doesn't. Like, it's yeah. like, do you know what yeah. I mean? It's like a constant reminder that there's a demographic that exists. I think you should pick up his publicist, man. They've played a blinder. What? What do you mean a blinder? What do you mean? Well, I don't know how good he is. I ain't seen him play, but they'll struggle to get rid of him now, ain't it? Oh, oh. Because oh, they don't look like discrimination. But I did say that. Like, I, I, I so was optics, <laughs> optics ain't going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> optics ain't going to be good at Appar- all. Apparently, he's very good, though. Oh, is he? Yeah, so he scored 30 goals. 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 That's how he scores 30 goals and what? He scored 30 goals. In yeah, but he only made, one, he's made one. He's, one, he's made one debut in the championship. He's playing reserve football. So, I mean, yeah, yeah 30 goals. But, I mean, and plus, he's, he's only 17. So much. No, it's still goals. Don't get me wrong. And that. Definitely shows potential, mm-hmm. but it's not if he scores 30 championship goals now, I'll be like, yeah, okay, now, now yeah. we're talking. See, I so. thought that's what he meant. He's, 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 he's goals, I don't know any different. <laughs> do you think, like, oh, wow. do you think that, let's say he goes on to have like a, a great career as a youngster, like 2021, 20, 22, do you reckon this situation would prevent teams from buying him? No, no. Because it's like what Christ said, it's like commercial opportunities. Yeah. yeah. So like and if he was, if, if he was really, really good, yeah. like, like a big commercial powerhouse, even say someone like Manchester United, that like shirt sales and opportunities and stuff like that. Mm. I don't think they they would, I don't think they'll turn their nose up at that. I feel it's a whole different audience that can now be like yeah. um, more welcomed into this yeah. space because this space is usually toxic, right? Like footballers mm-hmm. and football banter and all of yeah. that is quite. Yeah. But my thing is that something that footballers like about football is that their what, safe space. What do you mean? So like. You know the whole being pricks, being mean, being racist. Yeah. being Because fr- if uh, we know they're racist, that's not a yeah. question. Yeah. So if they're racist, I feel like then they probably have the close cousin phobia of homophobia living in their, in their way they talk and mm. stuff. Mm. So one thing I find is that people like that love to keep their space freely toxic. They don't want no woke shit. They don't want any, they want to just be able to freely. So is there a chance that he might actually come across a lot of backlash or... The yeah. new fans that he brings on. Because I'm know. sure there's tons of um, homophobic fans out there. But you know what it is about football? Because um, homosexuality has been a stigma and it hasn't. people don't talk about it openly, the fans who are homophobic haven't had a chance to show this homophobia. Mm. But with racism, because it's so just it's out there, mm. we've seen racism just okay. overtly because there's black players that you can abuse. Abuse, sorry. But if you don't know who the gay players are, how can you abuse them, innit? Mm. But if gay players start coming out, mm. then the the abusers will come out with them. Oh, yeah, they'll be going to get can you, abused left, right, and center. You know can I mean? you imagine being like a millionaire sports person and not even able to go on a date with your boyfriend? I just think that feels like a beautiful prison. Like, when I say beautiful, as in like, 
like a classy prison, but it's still a prison in my yeah. mind. Because yeah. you, you're being forced to like have, um, they call it beards when you date girls, right? Oh, that, yeah, yeah. But you're not actually, beard, but you're yeah. gay, but you date girls so that people can't. They call it what, sorry? They call beards? it beards. Yeah. So he's your, like, that's the, your, the girl's your beard. Okay. Yeah. I've never heard that before. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I saw it on TV. Um, but yeah, so in my head, I was thinking, this guy. Do you think this um, his name Jake? Do you think he's going to encourage maybe other footballers to come, to come out and be like, because he gets to now be whoever he wants. Yeah. He gets to like have a bad B dude in his Lamborghini and shit. Now like, he gets to not have to pretend. Which yeah. is, freedom is, I think, one of the biggest thing achievements in life. Like, so yeah. do you think he's going to encourage other people? Of course. Remember, it always takes one person just to break the. the, the but older the, guys. But then do you know what I think? Though, yeah, if they got any sense, don't just let him be the test dummy. And I, I, that's what I'm gonna say. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. I feel like other people might come out depending on how what what happens with him. Yeah. If he like gets a lot of hate and blah blah, so but I, I don't know, think in this day and age it's like that that much, it, that much like hate. He's gonna mm. get. It's obviously going to be received well. It's just about like how it actually plays out in real life, isn't it? Like I'm saying, mm. like people are going to say shit. Whether yeah. it, like it's going to be vindictive and spiteful, but it might not even necessarily come from a place of hate. They're just like they're just going to do it because they can. It's like what you're saying. They haven't had the opportunity to yeah. to yeah. spur any homophobia. Nah, nah. You just gave can. me new. There's new weapons to my arsenal. Like mm. you know what I'm trying to say. Like so, he's definitely going to get it. But those people, like, because football fans are now in a different world where things are recorded. Do you know what I mean? All it takes is one person who doesn't usually watch football to see somebody say the word F word. Yeah, but he, they don't, mm. but then, like, even with the jokes, yeah, you don't have to, like, even, like, you don't have to start using profanity in that. You could just start saying distasteful things, if that makes sense. Oh. Like, you don't have to start dropping, like, F words and blah, blah, blah. You could just start making, like, just, you could just, I don't know. Just like, come up stuff, with a chant. It? I was going to say a chant now. I said, Quay, not. Oh, they'll no, probably. They'll probably. No they'll probably they'll, oh, no, I, don't I don't know who. Black, Black, I don't know who Blackpool's um, <laughs> no, rivals just are. To make a point. But Blackpool's rivals will probably have a chant. Okay. Yeah. Like the serious ones. Okay, anyway, gay chants. Something disrespectful. But to be fair, that that chant would get shut down. Like that's what I was thinking. Quickly. But how do you shut down? People? It depends if, if it's good. If it's a good one, fans fans could get banned. There could be. Like, I don't think it's even going to be that. Stewards. But... Well, they're trying to stop. They're trying to stop be... Spurs fans from saying from saying Yid Army, and they can't do that. What's that? You? The Yid. You dummy. Yid, Yid, Yid Army. What's that mean? What's that? They're Jewish. It's what a Jewish. Mean? It's a slur for a Jewish person. They're Yid. But why just... would that? Why would you need that in a football chant? That has nothing to do with they pitches. They are. They are Yids. That's what they refer to themselves. Yeah, themselves as Yids. Oh, what team is that that refers to that? Spurs, Tottenham. And, and they are Jewish? No, they're not all Jewish. The fans are. But I don't know if the club must have a Jewish background or something. I don't know. I don't so know. they don't think it's a bad thing then when they say it? Jewish Is it like do. when we there's, say nigger or something? There's, there's, Jewish, people, there's Jewish people who support Tottenham who don't like it, who hear it, and they've openly spoke about it. They okay. try and do campaigns trying to get it to stop using the word and stop saying it. But well, then they ban them and stuff then? I don't know. It's too many of them. There's a whole army in them. So <laughs> you're going to ban the whole year's army. I don't can, know what you're going to do. Can I ask another question then? So usually, you know, with struggles, they become struggle, struggle Olympics, right? Like the mm, comparison yeah. between how things are received. So if do you think that if Jake Daniels gets like a good welcoming reception, it's going to cause a bit of a bit more of a light to be shone on why racism isn't, why why um, black players are not protected and stuff like I that? I can't lie to you. Definitely. 100%. I'm expecting that. It definitely will, but we already know that they don't care about black people. So, yeah. like, but it's just enough. Just they're outreach. they're gonna protect a a white, you know, gay player more so than that's what I was thinking. He's like a black. black not guy. saying that, not not taken away from the fact that anything, but in terms of in this space yeah. of like this new world we are in, mm-hmm. he might be the perfect person to be able to 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 be gay and be accepted and all of that because he's a he's a white. I don't know if he's good looking, but I'm sure he's all right looking. Yeah. A football player, like, do you know what I mean? I think this mm-hmm. is. Maybe like, 10 years ago, this might have not been a winning yeah. combo. But now I feel like this might actually be a winning combo. The issue is with this story is he hasn't got a big enough profile. He's not playing in the Premier. He's not playing at the highest level. He's playing... Mm-hmm. Where's he playing? Oh, he's Blackpool. good looking. Blackpool. Oh, is he? Okay. So mm-hmm. if his star starts to rise mm-hmm. and he becomes a bigger player, moves to a bigger team, then this is going to be a bigger story. He's mm-hmm. 17 years old, playing for Blackpool. Right now... <laughs> Don't this, disrespect no, no, no. man's whole story. No, 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 I respect his career, but I'm <laughs> saying on the greatest scale of things, right yeah. now he's in a small pond, isn't it? Okay. Once he ascends... That's when it's going to become a, a bigger thing, and, and then you will see his influence. Mm-hmm. But for now, it's a good story. It's a good that he's, he's come out, but mm-hmm. I don't think we'll have an impact right now. My final question: Do you think that this is going to distract from him becoming a good football player? Because you know, like with the whole Rashford thing, people are like, "Oh, the things he does outside yeah. has distracted him from being yeah. a football player." I don't yeah. know if that's true or not. The difference is Rashford isn't playing well right now. If this guy continues to play well, then yeah. no one's going to care. But Rashford is not playing well. Was he playing well before he fed the kids? <laughs> Marks is better to talk about because Marks was my United, so... 
Like, <laughs> was he? No. Was he <laughs> better? I, know, I find that very triggering for Mark. So Mark to me like, hasn't been playing well lately. Don't do this. What, did you say, was he playing better before you fed the kids? Yeah, because I want to know. Because like, no, they're saying, obviously, yeah, no, that he's distracted. So, yeah, no, what the, was he saying before? The, he's not cooking the Brent, lunches. Brent, run the music. Run the music. <laughs> <laughs> it's a no, no, question. This. I wasn't from his shame. No, no the, the, the narrative is, prior to all his off the, off the uh, pitch activities, he yeah. was playing better. Okay. And it seems like he's more distracted now that he's got his hands in so many different pies. Okay. Yeah. But would you and Mark, say- is that true? <laughs> Doctor Strange action <laughs> and the husband. Wait, wait, wait. Before we jump Mark, to that, I don't like that you're trying to silence me. Let's hand over to left news. <laughs> Can we do that, please? That is so funny. <laughs> so we know how to get Mark's out of here now. I like, know. Yes, you know Back of Man United. <laughs> Just shout football at him. I'm going to say Rashford. <laughs> <laughs> you start shaking. <laughs> I saw Rashford feeding the kids. Mark's going to start shaking. But yeah, sorry. Over to I'll you, man. All right, people. Um, my segment is going to be kind of short today. And basically just going to be touching on the same old stuff, really. You didn't even intro your segment. I'm very sad about this. And we need okay. a bit more of him. Sorry, Please, sorry, sir. Sir. Welcome to Left News. Thank you. Well, I'll give you the news from an economics point of view and tell you why it should be important to you. Is that right? I love it now. So you knew you could have done it. So you did he it. literally said, I'm not going to be here for long. It's going to be a quick one. Honestly. <laughs> Listen up. Well, basically, you know how um, we were talking about how Finland and um, Sweden are looking to join NATO? Oh, yeah. Mm. Yes. Turkey are saying, we're not going to vote for them. We're not going to agree to that. We're going to basically put up a stance similar to Russia's and um, basically not vote for them to, to join. Um, he's pretty much saying that um, those two countries are harboring terrorists. <laughs> That's his reasoning, right? Finland and Sweden? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He accused him of harboring terrorists. And also, Putin is basically saying that even though there's no threat, he doesn't see a threat, like, from Finland and Sweden as such, but he believes that um, any new military infrastructure on their territory will provoke a response. You know what I'm saying? So he's not like he necessarily mm. believes, are oh, they going to do something? But if you start, obviously, doing some new um, military infrastructure along the borders and everything and obviously all the other NATO um, countries can actually come there then yeah we're going to respond in that in that regard so that's that okay. yes and the other thing is pretty much to do with inflation and to do with the cost of living <laughs> same yeah, news so different the, day the same news exactly <laughs> same same different day obviously Labour are trying to say look we need to do this whole windfall tax how are we going to go by it and whatnot? but basically saying that's the best solution for this um, the bank recently raised interest rates to basically kind of stop the whole um, raising prices thing. The rates rose from rose to 1% from 0.75% earlier this month, which is the highest level since 2009, mm-hmm. right? And it's the fourth consecutive increase since December. And like I was saying the other day, um, inf- inflation rates right now is at 10%, well, 9.9%. It's only getting higher. So that means obviously 10% of your, your money, your buying power is just being reduced. Just like that. So people out there who want raises, make sure you're getting over inflation. Otherwise, you're getting a pay cut, essentially. Oof. Yeah. Mad. It's hard out here, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. That's a very good point, actually. Mm-hmm. Yes, if you're negotiating a new job or a new deal, <laughs> take all of this shit into consideration. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Wow. And the last thing, pretty much, again, touch on a similar thing. Um, you know the ex-Prime Minister John Major? Mm. He's come out pretty much saying that the, the Tories need to do something more than just talking about stuff in it. Like you guys, it's obviously it's a tough situation that we're in. But he said you can't really just raise um, spending whilst reducing taxes because that doesn't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? But he's saying pretty much they need to prioritize the people. You know what I'm saying? Like help those who are struggling to pay their bills. And like I said the other day, one in I think it's like, in fact, no, seven in eight people have admitted to having to um, skip a meal every day just to keep up with um, the new uh, I'm on price of living. Cost of living. I'm one in the seven. Yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah, that's it pretty much That's today. really sad. You know what? Yeah. That's, that's a good idea, actually. I'm what, skipping a meal? Just start fasting on the regular. Just to, this is well, not a second. choice, guys. <laughs> 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 they're not doing it by choice. No, I'm saying I'll do it by choice. Do these yeah. numbers hold <laughs> up? Because there's six, there six of us here. How many of us have to skip meals to pay our One, bills? Two, I was going to ask. Not skip meals to pay know. your bills, but skip meals to save money. Just, yeah. I just eat what's at home now. I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't really. One, two... Brent? 
No, Brent ain't missing no meals. <laughs> no, no, Brent, Brent ain't missing no meals. <laughs> as inflation's going up, podcasts are going up as well. Yeah, Brent is enjoying. Brent. Brent is enjoying. No, yeah, I don't know. I don't really. I'm not the best. I don't have the best diet anyway, but. Okay, cool. Yeah, Thank so you. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it from Left News. Hopefully, some tomorrow will be more positive. But yeah. When has you been here? How many weeks? Have? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to stay in the news. <laughs> nothing, <afraid>. exactly. <laughs> uh, nothing positive in the news. It's fine. Can I ask you? Do yeah. you have any um, solutions? Do you, if you, someone said left news, do you come up with a solution? What would your solution be? Ooh, long term, I believe you need to free up the market. You need to let um, the prices actually dictate how people spend because I think the prices are the best indicators of what people want. Mm-hmm. Um, for now. I think the government definitely needs to help people with the cost of living, 100%, because it's crazy right now. Inflation is ridiculous. But I think long term, they need to taper that off and just allow a free market. So you mean they should let, there should be less um, social... Less subsidies. Okay. Oh, no, not necessarily um, the welfare system, okay. uh, welfare system. I think that needs to be there. Like People need that net. But do things that kind of incentivize working, because that's the only way you can really build the economy. <laughs> E man yeah. for PM man, we appreciate you. And the All new right. black party. Do you know what I mean? The <laughs> new black party. I love what it. would you be? What in it? Mean? Like, would you be like secretary of defense? Nah, I want to be the rich guy's wife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Makes, to work. makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, um, keep it with the bad news. Let's go into the next headline. Not keep, keep keep bad news. Bad news. I gave you guys pussy talk at the beginning of the day. Let's <laughs> we're gonna keep it negative. Go, magic. Go back low. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Dr. Strange, actress and husband have been sentenced. So this um, last week we spoke about this. Yeah. Um, and it seems like they were listening because the judge took into consideration Screaming. some of the things that we mentioned. So um, it's been concluded and somehow I feel like the victims have found some justice. Dr. Strange's actress, Zara Pathian, and um, her martial arts instructor, husband, Victor Mark, has been jailed for sex, um, child sex offences. The judge sentenced um, Patheon, whatever her name is, who is 37 to 8 years, while her husband, who is 56, got 14 years in prison, claiming he was a driving force for the abuse. This is really notable because this is what the judge said to Zara. Whilst you denied in cross-examination that you were besotted with Victor Mark, on the evidence I have heard, I am in no doubt that your deviance was shaped by the influence that he had upon you from an early age. Which is kind of what we discussed, like hurt mm. people, hurt people. Mm-hmm. Um, so what do you guys think? Do you feel like it's unfair that she got a lesser sentence for doing, you know, the same crime? Like, I think she should have got a lesser sen- sentence, but she still should have been sentenced. I think that's a good amount of time. Yeah. Why well, should she have got a lesser sentence? Um, because she wasn't exactly the brains behind the operation. Yeah, but she was she, complicit. She was everything. complicit, but yeah, but being complicit isn't being the driving force of the I operation. Just find out what no, she but was. if you're complicit in a murder, you're gonna get. Yeah, yeah but, you, no, but even that you don't you still don't get the same time as the murderer as the person who did it. If you was complicit in thing, if you drove me to go and kill someone, you knew what I was doing. You knew who I was going. You knew what I was going to do, and and you drove me there. You didn't even if you didn't get out of the car, you're going to get the same time as me. Is that like joint enterprise? But I'm just telling you, you're going to get the same time as me. <laughs> is that, is that, I'm gonna like, tell is that a fact, a, lo- a legal fact, or is it, that your yeah. opinion? If you drove me to go and kill someone and you knew what I was going to do, even if you didn't get out of the car, or touch yeah. any weapon, you are going to get the same time as but me. But is this the judge think- saying this, or is this Mark saying this? The judge. Like, <laughs> I'm not. I'm the judge now, sir. You lost me now. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, fair enough. But I think with this one, I think I think person should have got less sentence because she, she isn't the driving force behind the abuse. But also as well, as much as it's not really an excuse, I'm yeah. giving a little bit of understanding that she herself was groomed. That's cool. It's good anyway because every day we get to see what idea of equality you don't want. What is wrong? That's where you went with it. That's mm. I said what I said, is. and mm. that's where you went with it. Yeah. No, uh, Bre- uh, Margs, get out. <laughs> but basically, get out. <laughs> I'm, of this I'm not looking at your way anymore. I'm just, no, I'm just I'm saying that. You feed him. Was, you give him eye contact. I actually do. Feeds I, do. Him. I do. Him. I do. I do. But I yeah. think because she also was groomed, I think that I think that definitely played a part in everything that she did. Yeah. But I think she deserves some time because at some point, of course, you, so your brain is there's a choice. Yeah. And there's a choice. Here's the thing. Yeah. So for the people that weren't here last week, Yusuf included, um, essentially she was 
she was having sexual relations with her martial arts teacher from the age of 19. That was yeah. what was recorded. But realistically, yeah. just my my spidey senses are saying that something untowards would have happened before that anyway. Mm-hmm. She'd been with him since she was about 14. She joined yeah. his class when she was 14, which is around the age of the girl that was assaulted, one of the girls that mm-hmm. was assaulted. And also she doesn't have another charge for sexual, sexual offenses against a child. Yeah. He does. Yeah. So I think it does lead to the vision of this guy is, um, this guy is a, Oh, they're not charged the for the same thing. No, they're, they're being charged for the same thing. But I feel like if you look at the context of things, he seems to have a bit of a CV doing shit like this, whether yeah. it's his wife or the other charge that he's currently in trouble for. Yeah. So, I'm yes. saying there's an extra charge that he has that she doesn't have. Yes, yeah, because yes, yes, yeah, yes. she's a victim in a way as well. And also... Well, maybe that's why then. Yeah, yeah. so it's not about equality. Because I know you, any moment to flog somebody, you want to flog, but it's, it's not, not no, somebody flogging us. No, I was just checking. It makes sense now. She's got less because he's done more stuff. Okay. And that's, that's equality still. Okay, great. He's not even the equality police. So I don't know why I'm looking I, to convince I don't know why you, Do you know what I, I don't decided? Care. As I said, I'm not going to even look towards him anymore. I'm done. <laughs> Yusuf, what do you Talk think about friend, this, Yusuf? You know what? I was just trying to find out who she was in Doctor Strange and she wasn't even like a big character. I know, yeah, but... When you, I was looking for her before, I was thinking, who is Yeah, I was, I was struggling and to find her. she was in the first one, innit? Yeah, I found her now. She was just like a... Local foot soldier. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah but local they, foot soldier. They do that all yeah. the time though, don't they? Like, yeah. they were attached. They'll be like, Stormzy's ex-hairdresser. Do you know what I mean? Like Doctor Strange to her. Marvel was like a big I was trying to drag yeah, of course. straight yes. through the mud for this of guy. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, Cumberbatch thinking, what are they saying about me? Fuck. Those yeah. are my thoughts, really. Is she wasn't a major character in Doctor Strange. And that's <laughs> what happens. Do you feel like, <laughs> so for what I've said, the context I've given you, yeah, yeah. where she joined, so her husband is a martial arts instructor. Okay, yeah. She um, even did a ceremony where yeah. she kind of took him as her master. Yeah. Apparently in their co- that culture, yeah. that's that's that means doing. it's a slavery thing. Like whatever he says about her is what she has to do. I personally think he's a predator and he used that to manipulate his yeah. power over her. Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, they met when they were 14. He was married. And whilst he was married, he was having sex with her when she was 19. Then he leaves his wife and then obviously marries her. this her. Yeah. So the judge is saying... He's obviously had a grip on your spirit mm. since you were young. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a lesser sentence because yeah. you were wrong, but I can see your deviancy was shaped by his control. Do you think that that's correct? Sorry for a quick second if I was being absent-minded. What's the crime here? Se- sexual offences against a child. Against, so yeah. he, he assaulted her? And her. And her. So they both the assaulted the Husband and wife assaulted a child, 14-year-old. The husband and wife assaulted a child? Yes. Yeah. Over a lack of months, a yeah. long period of time. Okay. I think they had sex with her or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah twice yeah. a week. They're wrong. But do you think she should get a lesser sentence or the same sentence? Is what we're asking. I'm, please uh, welcome to the pod. I think it should be. <laughs> why, I think it should be the same. Really? Oh, you think it should be the same? But she's why? a victim. Of, she was groomed herself. Oh, okay, cool. No, I'm here now. <laughs> I'm here now. Everything's, it's everything's too late. Up. Next that is so far. That is so far. So, so should R. Kelly get a lesser so, sentence because he was abused? So By his because own sister, because yeah, I was asking. Well. No, because, but lesser sentence. No, should have. One second. That was quick. Who said no? I said no. She said no. You know, no. I said no because you saw my move, my lips move, and I said no. But so just simply. So one second. One second. So just just simply and just easily. Yeah. Tit for tat. No, I'm just Niggas asking. I need it. to know these my, things. My tit is tit is tatting. No. No. So just simply. No, because no. she's been abused. But in this situation here, we should take into account that she's been groomed. Marx is a madman. Who is get? Who is? Mad? How am I a madman? I'm no, just asking explain. questions. Hold on, hold on. Can I? When I asked you a question like earlier, me. why are you doing that? No, no, because when I asked you a question earlier, you are very quick to be saying next segment, next segment. It's a simple <laughs> question, <laughs> and now here you are questioning me. Let me land right. Who should he get a lesser sentence than? He was a <laughs> so perpetrator. Exactly. Like, who should yeah, like, you want to do? Yeah, yeah. You want to yeah. do like, that so much. So much it's not making adding, sense. It's not you're a lesser doing... sentence than anybody. Should the judge take into consideration that yeah. he has been abused you know yeah. and be lenient on him? No. The thing is, yeah. What, no, what, we're saying. What no. does lenient look like? What does it look like? Because. No. If because he's done a lot to a lot Lydia of women. looks like her getting a lesser sentence. Do you know? I'll be yeah, honest. Let's just say no, that. You know, let's say that. Just for example, let's just say that. I, mean, example, say should, that. I think the judge that. might do that because they will probably do like a psych evaluation, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. If, if they find that the way he thinks or whatever yeah. is directly as a result of the abuse he suffered, they probably will. But the thing, well, the fact yeah, but I'm is saying, that but you don't think he should though. No, but babes, <laughs> Sweetie pie. I said no, honey, because there's nobody with him on that <laughs> crime. It's just him. So there's no less than anybody. It's you, sir, Robert. No, he means he means a lesser sentence than he was given. I think not has a he year been out. A sentence. He been oh, Kelly. Yeah, he's still in, a he's he, in no, prison. I know he's in prison, but he's I, I, don't know been, I don't know if he's been. No, he's I just think he's denied bail. Oh, hasn't he? I thought he'd been sentenced already. He's been in no. prison for quite a while. He's been denied bail because obviously he's going to go away. Yeah. So he's just in prison waiting for his he's, the full the investigation. Is, oh, okay, okay. He's I not going to get like no, 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 death yeah. sentence where, but he's probably going to get how much? How long did um Bill Cosby get? He's even out now, isn't he? He's out now, isn't he? Of course he's out. I'm not sure how much he's done. I reckon, this is just, this is just, I'm I'm not a betting man, a betting man, but 
I would say that he's going to get 17 years. Let's ask Judge <laughs> Marks. <I think> so. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, you just threw a random number I, in the no, sky. The Judge Marks, I 17, 17. Yeah, is because I feel like, because sometimes someone could do mad, like bad things here, but who can they get them on? And yeah. I feel like they could probably get him on about seven girls. Yeah. So, that's I, a lot of that's girls. That's seven girls, but compared to everyone he was pissing on and that, that's a, he was pissing on a lot of people. So, in my head, and I don't know if pissing on people is a crime, but I think pissing on children is definitely a crime. If it's not consensual, <laughs> yeah. it's a crime. <laughs> this is Quay with her legal correspondence. So, if the person's not of age as well. Yeah, exactly. If I didn't ask for piss to be on me, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> take so them to jail. There's bare things. So, just off of my short stint of watching yeah. legal shows, yeah. I think 17 years with good behavior, he'll be back, he'll be in our half house by 12 years. Damn. I'm not saying that's okay, Damn. but this is just what I think yeah. from TV shows I watch. Also, just to answer your, your previous question, him, okay, let me not use quotation marks. Him, <laughs> he said, we yeah, know. You don't want smoke. <laughs> him grooming her from a young age. Mm -hmm. Does that have any correlation to what she decided to do as a fully is fresh adult change? to this child? Hurt I think people so. do hurt people, hurt people. But she still got prison there? time. I'm not saying she shouldn't get prison no, time. No, you're, you're saying um, should her time be less than his? Her, yeah, I've, I agree that her time should have been less than because his. Because you believe that. But at one point, she was the vulnerable. She was person. influenced. Yeah. Her her acts, her abuse that she gave to that child was directly correlated to. What it was normalized. Was, if you were seven fourteen. Oh, also, also, I'm not arguing. I'm just going. I'm no, just going I'm just. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, please do not feel threatened by me speaking with confidence. I'm not, what I'm, I'm not saying. I'm just going to make sure that you understand the context <laughs> of my argument. Yeah, no, I, I heard it. It's very simplistic, but Thank basically. <laughs> oh, so it's, it's y'all are making me that, sick. That, that, I swear. What is going on here? Ultimately, I feel like at one point she was that abused woman yeah. if we went back 10 years yeah, yeah. we would be feeling sorry for her yeah. no justice was brought in fact she married her abuser right yeah. mm -hmm. so now she's grown up in a culture at what and age was did raised... she marry her abuser 19 when they had sex I don't know when they got married but they she from the moment yeah. that they, from the moment she yeah. was in his tutelage and she came and to her, her, she her, her accepting him as her I don't know her sensei Master. Yeah. That was strictly to do with the martial arts right no it's part of his fucking predatory behaviour and that's been proven I'm just asking. The By the fact that she married him, I think so. Because yeah, she's nineteen. Because I think because when you're a teacher, okay, she, you shouldn't even be. She, she essentially, and again, I'm not agreeing with. No, I'm no, just, of course you don't. Agree I'm just. With... I'm opposing the argument. So she essentially fell in love with a martial arts teacher. How old? How old was he when they had sex? When she was he was nineteen. He was forty-two. No. Yeah, he was too old to be. Having okay, sex cool. With her. That is completely wrong. So thanks for clarifying. To, no, to me, yeah. obviously, some people were like, "Oh, but she." What day did we do that? To me, that was wrong. Right. So. So she's 37 now. He's 56 now. Okay, cool. So there's so a difference there's a massive, of 12 years. Yeah. So yeah. when she was um, 14, when yeah. he was under her, yeah. guys... Yeah. You know what it is? Yeah. The, the whole thing is a mess. But I'm trying to say, is there any, like, if this was in... Obviously, this isn't cool, is it? Yeah. There is direct correlation between your relationship when you were 19 and I was whatever, whatever, to both of us two being consensually together and abusing this child. Well, is it there, just looks weird. There's no there, proof there, of yeah, abuse. No, no, no. no. With him and, no, with him and the... It was his wife. Yeah. There's no proof of abuse. Yeah, so that, that's what they I'm saying. They just don't like how it looks. Can that be used... But the fact that he has... I've, I've got charges. Can, can that be used in her favour to say, you know what? Because you two got together when you were 19, you're going to get a lesser sentence. I think it can. Because I think it's what Koi said yes, about, so ahead, so about the normalising, where I don't believe that... I feel like yeah, they're saying 19 when they first had sex. I personally don't believe that. If you've been around a kid for, for since she was 14, I just don't believe that my you brain You don't suddenly right. get a bone at but, 19. Like. Yeah, but I think as well, the fact that her, she was groomed to believe that this is normal. Like, I, I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm not. Yeah. Again, I'm not taking responsibility yeah. away from her because yeah. what she did was vile, and she yeah. definitely does deserve to put, put her in yeah. jail, right? But I do believe that the way that she thinks and her, just her thinking is messed up because she was groomed. Yeah. And I think the whole thing about doing a ceremony to give your essentially your life to someone and yeah. marry them and that such yeah. a young age and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I think that shapes the way that you see things. And if you're in an environment where this is normal. Yeah. It just is And also This is what I'm saying Because right. there wasn't Nothing reported Or nothing like that And I asked you like, The question at the time And I can't mm. even remember What consensus we even came to Yeah But it's like Is there So there's no Because look I talked about Tiger and Kyra so There's no situation Where someone can like Someone that's underage And wait for them To, to be legal Because of they don't oh, yeah, want to break the law. My, yeah, my answer to that yeah. was... He... And, and, it, and, it, and it not be grooming. Because that's what I'm trying to say. Just because of the way it sounds and it looks, yeah, and the, the whole master sensei thing right here, we're just assuming she, no, but, he was, can, that, can, he, it was done that in a malicious way or whatever. No, but you did ask us that. We told you the ages. Because remember, I said 25. I think you said like 20, 21. 21, yeah. But that's not even what I'm saying. My thing is, if you the, for it to not be grooming, I need you to get the fuck out of here. 
He should have yes, accused himself that, yeah. from being her martial arts teacher. And if he sources that wavy, he would have come back when she was 19 and she would have still been in No, but where did, they're just giving us information. We don't know when yeah. the story started. What, no, what I'm saying is it's like they, she she signed up to do martial arts as a kid when she was 14. Yeah. yeah. They might not, he might not have been interested in her since she was 18. Then why is it? Do you know, can I add a narrative? You, you're not gonna be like this, there's no proof for this yet. But I think the fact of him even involving a younger girl sexually in their relationship is because he was. She was too old now. Like that's what fucking mm. weirdos do. Yeah, like, no, that that I agree. Do you know no, what I mean? I it, it paints it like of course. But like, again, you're just speculating, though. Isn't it? And also, also, but was, I feel was, like it's calculated. She, I don't feel like she, throwing things out there. Was she his only like you know master student that he that he kind of brought into his? Maybe I, he, I highly doubt that. I'm trying to say. I, so he probably had a whole fleet of young students who took him as their master sensei. But even pedophiles have types. No, I'm not saying I'm not. Maybe I'm, the I'm other just, ones. I'm would... trying to figure out if this is isolated between those two or this is like a. Mm. a group my thing is, if you want, so this is this would be what my advice is. I don't even know if I want to stand by this with both my feet, but if you are attracted to a younger, but you find that you just randomly are attracted yeah. to this younger person, yeah, but you don't, you you're not a pedophile. I'm just saying, if you just wow, this person is mad intelligent, yeah. whatever, whatever you seem to like about this young person, I would say recuse yourself from the situation. I don't know if that's the right word, but remove yourself entirely yeah. and come back when she's of age because then that's the only way where she has the consent to even fuck with you. A younger person liking you does not... Like, I'm not going to lie. The po- Morally to me, even that's wrong. To me. I was going to say, yeah, the coming back thing... To see no, a, a girl let at let life thinking, happen, oh, I'm coming back when she's back. 20. To me, that's, that's icky. That's but disgusting. do you know But I feel like there's no... He said, is there a way for it to not be but grooming? But that's only that morally be, wrong. But that wouldn't... No, that wouldn't be grooming because yeah. there was no... There was, your talons weren't on her back. I know, but you know, it's okay. still a mindset That's though. what I mean. I'm just You're, about addressing you still the grooming thing. You've seen an adolescent and thought, you know what? There's something in her that I like, yeah. but she's illegal now. So I'm going to come back in six, seven years. But no, but that kind of thing happens all the time. I know it does, but I That's think... That's mindset in the hood. Like, you, like there's I know. girls that grow up that you, they're not even on your radar. So it's not even like to say you're looking at them like that, but they're not even on your radar, but you're aware that they're young. But when they turn of age and they're about, it's, it's yeah, different you're, now. No, you're no. not a pedophile. You're just a, a hungry no, guy, Marks. but you're not a pedophile because no. now she's older. I'm you're saying when you've seen her at a young age, she is on your radar, but you can't do nothing about it because she's young. So now you're leaving her. No, but I've seen man I've grew up in the States. I've seen man do that I've seen man say that like, I've seen a thing and say that she's too young, mm-hmm. but when she's of age, and and he's dropped her. What's her, his name? What do you mean? Yeah, and, like and, and I'm saying I think that's immoral friends. to me. How can it be immoral if you're doing the, if they're doing the right thing? Because you're looking at a kid and thinking, no, oh, you know what? Is... You have potential. You know, I'm gonna. Bear I, man, I, do I, that. I think that's, to me, I think that's mad. Okay. All right, well, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to end there, guys. If you don't want to discuss this more, make sure you comment. Everywhere <laughs> And we will see it And we'll talk about this Another day But um, it's time to Intro a completely new segment Called Is that for is it? It's not what? Is that No sorry I got two egos. It's another segment I fucking love oh, <laughs> Word on road Another segment first Yeah babes oh, sorry. I was here before you <laughs> Well but don't blame <laughs> me Like I intro it <laughs> It was the news It was all of that But guys that was an amazing segment By the way I know everyone hates me For having to stop that But we have to talk about The other news That's right They'll get over it Yeah <laughs> <laughs> But um, so word on road, a lot has happened actually over the last. This is this is very positive. I'm very glad. Is it positive? It's oh. positive. Yeah, very positive. Okay. Um, Courtney Kardashian is married. She's got married to her. Guys, can um, we? Can you celebrate? No, they don't get it. I don't care. About I don't want it. Guys, she was with a man for. Sis, you do. Ah, it. you do your things. So. Scott, Abby. Yeah, sis, you do your thing. So she's married. Wait, to hold on. Travis. Mark just said I don't care. If we did that in your segment, that's no, strike I'm one. I'm saying I don't care because she left Scott. Scott never Scott, attached yeah, himself to her. Yeah, but he's seen like Scott. Of course he cares that he left Scott. What? Lord, Scott... Lord Disick? When they gave him oh, sorry, that pimp Lord stick? Dick. When they gave him the pimp stick? Oh, God. Yeah. It was a, actually cannot. It was but, um, an amazing time. So yeah, Courtney and Travis Barker are married. Yeah. And I love it because it was very quiet. Okay, let me give you guys... Let me give you guys and she said she'll never marry him. She said she'll never marry Scott. Yeah, that's Only horrible. Only because what I say. he made he a, he was, he was toxic. Women are bad, man. He... He makes you sure. about, I've been with you for years. I give you a child and all that. Talking about you'll never four. get married and, and then you're gonna marry next married. man. She didn't want to get married to him. No. Why he would I want to get didn't. married to Suffer? Right. No, man, he didn't want to get married man. to her. So then eventually she was like, I've got self-worth, bro. I'm not strong enough to leave you yet, but no, I'm not no, gonna no. put myself in. I don't no, no. you can't implicate me with marriage now after no. you've made me suffer. No, I like that. If you're not on marriage, you're not on marriage. Don't let Mark lead us astray. Mark's not leading anybody astray. He's talking to himself. I'm never listening to what he's saying. But yeah, so um a bit of um context. Courtney was with um, Scott for years. <laughs> Sis <laughs> was going through it. Like, she... That was a sentence. Yeah, it was. That was actually imprisonment. Whoa. It was a lot. That guy was cheating. He was disrespectful. Was he cheating? I didn't realize he was cheating. Girl. Wow. Tristan, he was, was disrespectful. 
He was like He was just He makes Future look like An angel Do you think his relationship With Chloe and the sisters Was a bit weird as well? I was going to get there okay. he, I've hit, Him and Chloe have slept together No they haven't She wouldn't have do wa- that to cool Have you watched this? Have you, okay cool There have you watched the show? Yes, of course I watched the show. No, have you seen the interactions? Yeah, but I think he's. I don't think she would sleep with him. I'm not, I can't lie to you. Think sisters, I'm, not gonna women are, I'm not going to lie. I don't, why, think, I don't think there's no honor in that family. No, they. She before Kim came about. Yeah, yeah. Courtney and Chloe were quite normal sisters. Like, like as in, I don't Courtney think, and Chloe were the closest. They were ones. so close. I do not believe she would sleep with. Do you, do you know I, what I human? Do you know what human beings? Do you know what human beings are on? I do. Do you know what human beings? are know you know. And you one second, and you think these this family are the standard bearers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, you're bluffing. I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna get that. I'm okay. gonna, can let me, let okay. me get to it. Right? This is, I can't. I let me give context. Sentence. She wouldn't do that. She would do it. Trust Why? Me. Because because she's what? Who is she? Maybe there was a sloppy night where he may have had a breast in the mouth, but I don't even think that's true. I don't a think she'll do that in to the their mouth. I don't think she'll do that to her sister. I do not. Do, think do you know what world they come from? This is the entertainment yes, industry. Yes, where it's them versus goes. the world, Anything. not them, them versus, versus who? each other. What do you mean? She, look, okay, so no, like, they're versus each other. I don't even like Kardashians like that. Do you see the fight? The fight when Kim and I don't even like Kardashians like that. I don't watch it. Religiously, yeah. I've seen enough episodes and I've seen enough interactions, yeah, but to, a, for me to know, are. yeah, that he's chopped it. He has not, he couldn't even handle it. Bro, she's an Amazonian something like no, nah, he's a I tiny like, man. Amazonian. He can handle that. Do you think he can handle that? Chloe in her state. Oh, you think right now with Tristan and that? No, I mean no, I'm not doing this. No <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing it. That is such a set. I'm not doing it. Can you tell me afterwards? Yeah, I'll tell you afterwards. All right, cool, guys. Yeah, make sure you sign no, up to our Patreon. It. This is where you get all the information. <laughs> exactly. <Please. laughs> but um, so basically, she's married to Travis, blah, blah, blah. But context is that she was with Scott for years and years, and he was just make, putting her through like suffering and all sorts. But, but I think what used to annoy me about that situation and what made me feel sad for her was how deeply she was hurt by his actions yeah. and how the family kept him around. Like, this guy just stayed there. Like, yeah. he just. He never left the but family. He was signed on to E as well. He's out of all the Kardashians, out of all of every man that's engaged with the Kardashians, yeah. he's the only one that hasn't necessarily crumbled. And I think because mm. he he possesses the power Do of the so? I don't think so. You no, know. don't get me wrong. I he's think, not standing yeah. on a high mountain. But No, I think, and this is kind of why I can't agree with the guys, but I think it's because he's good TV, he's good entertainment. And that's because he, you see where the E contracts here? He was part of the show. Like, yeah. Rob wasn't part of the show. He's got the Kardashian name, but mm. Scott Disick was actually part of the show. And I think it's because he's good TV. So I feel like they kept him around because... That's really mean. For ratings. And that's the thing. That's why she's not rated. That's why she left the show. Because Courtney left the show. Courtney said she basically quits. And her life is very different to everyone else's in terms of she's not willing to do just anything for the lights, the spotlights, and all that kind of stuff. And I feel... She's a white woman. You can tell that it was very... It wasn't... Status quo with whatever it wasn't in line with what everyone else wanted, and that's why she and Kim would always go at it. And Kim would basically say to her, "You're useless. You've been given this opportunity, and you're not doing nothing, anything with it. All you want to do is sit around and watch your kids all day, and all that kind of stuff." So, yeah. But I thought with the Scott thing, with Scott and Chloe, I think yeah, I think that at some point yeah, they could end up together. No. I feel like yeah, no, do you know that, I think? Th- that I think is a bit too far. I think yeah that. They understood their best friends. And I really feel like if there was a guy to ever understand Chloe properly, it would be Scott. And I think if there was ever a girl to understand Scott properly, it would be Chloe. But, and I can't lie to you, the way the family is set up, I don't put it past them to actually be together. They would just have a conversation about it because I, what I've clocked about them, yeah, well, I think what people should clock anyway, mm-hmm. is that all this stuff, as much as we see me like, oh, reality is deep, blah, 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 is acting. They're very, very good. Acting. Sorry, but after I reported to you guys that Kim... Always had them sex tapes that were allegedly leaked. Mm. I can't believe anything they do anymore. I mean, I stopped believing anything they do years ago, but I really believe that. But anyway, she got married and um, her sisters weren't there. Maybe because... They yeah, wasn't there. No one's there. Only her grandma, MJ, and um, Travis's dad. I love this Was brother. that because the way she chose to do it? Yeah, I believe it. Because she's just very... Like, she's but just, she's always been like that. I don't no, think but, they would even do be you know, well, I think since the last season when they won E, she's kind of stepped away. Because that, that fight with yeah. Kim, I don't know if you guys ever saw the clip, where she slapped the foundation off Kim's face. It's mad. Mm, and she's a tiny girl as well, you know. She's small she's... and she really... But I think even like watching the show over the years, there's always been... She's different. Mm. She's different. Mm. She's different and she knows she's different and they know she's different. But... <laughs> Chloe was different as well, but she succumbed. No, Chloe is different. No, no. Okay, stop it. Stop it right now before the FBI comes. <laughs> stop it right now, Esther. I'm trying to protect you. Because <laughs> that's what I'm going to say, yeah. <laughs> 
The fact that Anyway No not doing it Not doing it Carry on please What were you going to ask no, me? For, for me personally I feel like yeah She's always been different Courtney's always been different I like this for her I love like, this I feel her. like This, I this love, love this has given her. her The confidence To yeah. really just define What she wants to be about With her family Kind of yeah. thing I love how affectionate By the way Any future Mr. Que How Travis is so affectionate With Courtney that's the energy I'm on. That like, is energy. Lips me in front of the priest. Let's go. No, like, I really love that. No, but it's so be nice because, her, and this is what I say, this is what I tell guys sometimes, like, they don't want to listen that. If you have the source. <sighs> if you have the source. If you have the source. <laughs> the thing is, yeah, you can't put a woman through suffering. Like if you put a woman through suffering, you think she's going to sit there, she's going to leave and she's going to find a guy in like less than a year and get married to him. They've been, they were engaged in October, right? Yeah. They married two days ago. They've been together. When we find out they were together in October, I think they've been together less than a year when they got engaged. Yeah. And look how quickly she's moved on. But and Scott was out here begging for marriage, even though he was being stupid. Can we stupid. talk about the fact that he was dating like 18? Being, like, yeah. Spring um, breakers. Lionel Richard, um, <laughs> like Richard uh, what, what's his name? Yeah, like the daughter. Whatever. Daughter, yeah. He was dating really young men. And I, and I remember. Oh, yeah, what is that? Sorry to cut. Is that thing that's going around? Like, he's, he's saying he, he's looking for like 19 year old things. That's what you're saying. Not anymore. No, he used to date really young supermodel type Yeah, things. and he like dated them. Um, and Kendall's friends type of thing. Like, yeah. Because I remember he dated um, one of the housewives on Beverly Hills. Oh, really? Lisa Renner, he dated her daughter as well, Amelia. She was yeah. young. All the yeah. other girls were shy for her because how could you let that happen? Yeah, and if you're going to... Yeah, it just was... Yeah, I don't and know. And that's why I don't put anything past them morally because going for even with that year, Lisa Renner, the mother of the model he was dating... She was fine with She's it. friends with Chris. Do you get what I mean? And I think and I think with Scott as that well... That was so embarrassing. He's so me. with the... Um, yeah, it's embarrassing. But you know, like he's... I feel like he's very in the family because obviously he lost his parents, both his parents. And Chris was kind of like... That mother figure to him And she treats him like a son Like She would Courtney's not talking to him And says to the family Don't talk to him But she's having lunch with him like, Are you sick? I think So I'm glad entitled. that she separated herself I, I was listening to the receipts And they were talking about this He's very entitled Okay let's bring the boys in yeah Say you were dating a woman For and she like bare long right And she mm-hmm. kind of did you wrong You know she didn't really Respect you guys or whatever Let's say you lot The kind of guys Where that could happen to you Yeah Because it could happen to anyone So mm-hmm. she's not really respecting you But your family's rich or well off or popular or something. So she kind of stays around you. Guys. But I don't think he's around them because of fa- family figure. I think he's around them because he likes their status as well. Like, I think it's the money. Like he likes, and I don't think he even needs them. And he just likes being around winners as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I think he considers them winners. Anyway. That's a whole production, man. That's yeah, not serious. This, this couldn't happen in real life. Like he's around yeah. them because he brings value to them. Yeah. Because Chris, business. Chrissy wants him on the show. Yeah. Wants him yeah. Yeah. That's what it's in not real about. Life, it's not about Because you know what it is? Right. Sometimes right. Yeah, people don't need, sometimes it's not about money. It's about popular. Popularity and fame, and the Kardashians are bloody popular. So they've got Scott a product had that money. they put out to the world. If he wasn't bringing value to their product, he would not be nowhere near. That and time. I can't lie to you, if we didn't, if he didn't join the Kardashians, I don't think we'd know him like that. He would have had to do something mad. So sometimes yeah, people are know. rich here yeah, and they've got wealth, but they, but want, they want popularity. They want yeah. fame. They want to be known. And we know him because I'm talking about him. But big up, it's um, true. We um, started this by celebrating Courtney, and we ended exactly. up talking about Scott. So yeah. and that's because why wouldn't you stay? He even if he didn't want to stay, if the opportunity is there. Because yeah. well, if what, you start no... dating someone and their family's big on telling him, and even yeah. if you sort of break up with him, but the opportunity is there to stay on the yeah. show and yeah. advance that's yourself and get. And you know what? You stay people... too, like. And that's why she didn't marry him because he was benefiting more than she was. Mm. She didn't need to. She didn't. She, he was giving her nothing. He just gave her kids. Which is obviously she I loves. think I'm just clocking. But I don't need to give her nothing. Fuckery. She's got everything. I'm just clocking exactly. the fuckery she so has she, to go through. So like, she I had to, I was really deep. For in. me, it's the fact that, yeah, I broke up with somebody. He's hurt me. And you guys see me crying every day. Yeah. Yet she's like, doing private lunches with him. And you know, like... Him for product, for a show. Love. Yeah. Because she's been miserable on the show for years. And yeah. she wanted to leave for years. And I think she hasn't been... She hasn't left because obviously optics, blah, blah, blah. But last season was she was like, I'm done. I remember she even announced it before the episode came out, which obviously I would imagine was like mad. And she announced it before and... It was just, it was just wild. I think even her like having that physical fight with Kim and because Kim's embarrassed her so many times on camera as well, saying that you know she's lazy, she's this and that. Mm. Like it's been a lot. But Courtney is the most authentic one. She stayed white with her white body. She stayed healthy. She has not dated black men and used them for promo. So she's my favorite. Yeah, favorite. that's but that's what I'm saying. Like Courtney, Chloe used to be that, but then I think I think people got onto Chloe too much and she just gave in. Yeah, she but, did. One thing I will say, I think she, I think Chloe could do better than um, than Scott personally. I think she needs to. I, I think I don't think Chloe's a bad person. I think she just, I don't know what it is, bro. I but just anyway. think she needs to break. She needs to break free from. She's got a lot going on with her. Um, onto other white. I'm gonna end with black excellence. So onto the next white news <laughs> is um N Dubs have announced a reunion tour. She said more white news. And she said <laughs> N Dubs. <laughs> Girl, don't get me started. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So N Dubs have announced. Uh, N Dubs a black group. They're not black. Mm. Only Faze is black. We should get them on a new black 
Only face that I have on the on the day after. Day after yeah. energy, sorry. Only um face is black. Brent, you know. Where's hey, Daffy from? Daffy's like black. It's Turkish. Greek. They're not black. Um, that's this, is why, this is why people be out here saying the N-word. <laughs> yeah. Don't do no, that. No, but that's, what, that's why he gets in trouble a lot because that... apparently he has said that a few times. Yeah. He said it in one song and it went crazy, innit? Yeah, they, they should have they flogged him. Don't do that. You're, you're not. And just like that, <laughs> Daffy's not coming on the show. She said they should have flogged him. <laughs> Boy, wait to see here what I've got to say about Talisa. But anyway. Okay. That um, was a, I thought that was, I was around him at that time. No one, no one around him wasn't outraged. No. Yeah, sure. but, can I just no, say, no just white guy bad. says with nigga without five black friends in his circle saying Tell him okay. go, mate. Yeah. They does no white person. The, the, their DNA they does get not the, allow. Yeah. They need that catalyst of, they get white, the of a black person. They, they need, need that that, that cosine. Yeah, exactly. One time, Fred Santana from Nice Baby Story said, "Go into your friends, your white friends' phone." I think he said this, so allegedly, um, and then type in "nigger" in their WhatsApp. Nah, group. if shit Ooh, comes up, that's a sick scary, idea, you know? right? That's a sick idea. That's scary, though. Yeah. That's scary. That might end a couple. That, that's no. It, it will. It will definitely. That's scary. That's I don't nice. think I have any white friends. I wouldn't. Really, you what, wouldn't do it because your ignorance is this. Or you, or you wouldn't I take would, any issue with it. It depends because how he's using it. If he was like, if he was using it in like hate speech and derogatory terms and just getting onto people, then obviously yeah, it's gonna cause a problem. If he was just saying like, oh yeah, my nigga, man, I just nah, 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 like, nah. my nigga's nah, nah, shit. He, he he can't even use it as a t- term of endearment to me. I'm sorry. Even yeah, me, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to wean off yeah. of saying. I know you want because oh, did people. Just, you know what it is, yeah. People, if people wanna, um if people wanna like. Make it serious that people need to act serious about it. And I say it all the time on pods. I watch I watch podcasts where people cut out words like, uh, "Should I just go, with Brent?" No, don't cut me. No, you could, but you could just beat. Yeah, them. beat, beat, beat. Do you know what I'm trying to say? You could just beat I feel them. like Brent side and I side too. Brent. <laughs> I side. No, you could just beat them just to prove all my points. You know okay. what I'm trying to say because they're gonna beat faggot. He's gonna beat midget, and niggas gonna stay in there. <laughs> Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like. Come on. But that's because But you know how you said that with Yesterday On yesterday's episode So make sure you tune into All the episodes You said that how Christians Like we're the ones That people are so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Even like Christians Will make fun of, of Christianity yeah. I feel like Because we Because I don't really hear Like Jewish people use Geography Jewish so, language yeah. And even Chinese And, stuff like that. and yeah. I know people said They rebranded it And it's cool and that But I don't And I, I say the n-word right yeah. But I don't think That's what it even is it's I just, think it's just yeah. It's too late. It's on every song. It's on. It's too hundred, late. It's on a hundred. Every song. It's on a hundred songs come out a day. And on the hundred songs, it's on. The, it's on the verses six thousand times. Eight. Yeah, and it's music's popularized and it's everywhere and it's pumped. But it's only people, popularized because yeah? Jewish. Um, if that's fine. Rap- but what I'm trying to say is, yeah. It's so, it's like, it's so, it's too late. It's so much. I don't think there's no point even holding stock on that. Like, the word's the word. If someone's using it to be vindictive, to be malicious, to be hateful, to be offensive. Then it's wrong, but yeah. I'm also, I also don't it's like it. That's it's always wrong. Yeah. But if not, why would you? Why would you even get? Why would you want to get offense? Why would you want to hold offense and take offense to something so, that's but not even offensive? Because, because if it's so offensive, why is it right, so okay. popular? Because, Everybody's just using because it. Because why? Yeah. Why people want to yeah. use it? Full stop. That's what Carla it's said. Not, why would like, they want like, to use why? it? It's there's, not why. There's, 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 a million, people, there's, there's a million words of endearment a you can million. use. Why choose that one that you know is offensive? That's king. That's cool. That's if that's if white people want to claim it and feel like that. Yeah, I also watch white people. Yeah. I also watch white people do all the time in clubs, yeah, sing their songs word for word, and then it gets the nigger and get all awkward, and, and, then, <laughs> and, then, and then start and then start singing again. It's yeah. just like, and then they're good whites. It's not good. It's just like who no, can, like, no, come on, like, you like, grow up. The, you said the word in your head. I know how the, how your inner voice works and how it works. Like it's that's fine. You can the say words exist, you like, but don't let me hear you say, it say it a thousand facts. times. And I'm just saying, me personally, yeah. I get where you are coming from because you yeah. know everybody's entitled to feel how they feel. Yeah. Me. Personally, I don't see why I've I haven't got there's got too much going on in my life to to put energy over there to get offended because someone sang the lyrics to a song they never wrote it and they love it and they enjoy it and that's how the song goes and everybody else is singing the same song as well. The thing is, I refuse to put, stop. I understand, upset I understand your argument, yeah, but as black people, we have to pussyfoot around so many different fucking things. We yeah. is French. I don't so, pussyfoot around nothing. So a white person, yeah, pussyfoot around the word nigger. Yeah, we have if to push it around, around so much, much shit, fam. No, you, can, you, can, you can handle that one. Yeah. Like, so, your you can own, so in your privilege, your only inconvenience is having not to say nigger. Hold that. You can absolutely. Well, maybe mine is from a personal you know what I mean? From my personal absolutely. opinion, yeah. I don't care about nothing. Like I said, I ain't pussyfooting about nothing. You yeah. know what I'm trying to say? That. So I don't yeah. feel like I have to pussyfoot. Not pussyfoot. Right I mean, black people, we I, have, I, we I, have to be careful and navigate through life because the world is racist. To a certain extent, but at the same time, also do whatever I want to do when I want to do it. And I don't let no one. Change that. You know what I'm trying to say? So I think how I think. So I don't care about anything. Yeah. If that makes sense. So yeah. let, and I live uh, how I live. You let Tiga call you a nigga? What do you say? You let Tiga call you a nigga? I'd, he doesn't call, look, not call me a nigga. If Tigo said that's my nigga, I wouldn't care. 
Interesting. So then I personally feel like then that's a personal kink between you and your people, and that's cool. But that's I think kink. for somebody out there who's just doing, uh, who, just a white person, feel, I feel like, I think it just comes down, for me, with this argument, it always comes down to why would you want to say it? Yeah. Because there's so many other words that you wouldn't dare say. And I think... Every, it's, because we keep making it cool. Why do you want to say it? It's because you keep making it cool. Why do white people want to make R&B music or bash music? Because we keep making it cool. Why do they want to dress like us? Because we keep popularizing it. We keep making it cool. We keep, talking about your experience I'm saying, in your like, lingo. Kill it, though. I'm saying kill it. We should, yeah. My personal thing is, yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm on board and doing this, yeah. Let's stop trying to... Let's stop using it. And then, um, and then I'll hold that, I'll extend that to every single other race and everybody mm. else. Us lot, yeah, black people, yeah, let's stop using it. That's what I'm on. I'm being dead serious. Let's stop using it. But I, and, I then, feel like and then if, no one else can't say it. Uh, that, that, then, then, I'm, people, then I'm here, I'm if on people board. Are, if there are people who don't take offense, because there are some black people who take offense to using it anyway as well. Yeah, yeah. Even like when other, people, other black people use it. That, and but we don't care about them. People, but then there are black people who, for them, it really isn't like, it's a, it really is a term of endearment, right, for them. Why should I have to stop saying something that is not a problem for me because the lines because are the too blurry. Because, because the lines the are line's too not blurry. Blurred. The line is very clear. It's a very clear line. You're white. Don't say it. It's very clear. And the thing is, if you're in your friendship group and your and your black friends who are sellouts give you a give you a pass to say it, yeah, understand that that's there. Because what what happens now is people then bring that same attitude into re, into real life, into the wider society, and then you when someone takes offense, rightfully so, yeah. you're telling me, "Well, my black friends allow me to." I'm not your yeah, black friend, not, right? That's not it. Everybody has to take responsibility for their black, own actions. Nah, so if you say I, something I in a certain that, circle and you go out there saying someone punches in your face, that's on you. You gotta be because you I, understand I, what the world is. Can you yeah, see that's just not be avoided yeah. by them just. Just with not. all their privileges and Just could, allowing this one thing And it could also Also be avoided Yeah if we stop trying to In, in term of endearment And claiming back the word And empowering bullshit We're not claiming back the word like, We're saying If we stop that whole narrative And that, stu- well, that whole the bullshit that you Then fight? we wouldn't be here Why, why we, 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 You can't blame yeah, Basically what you're doing here Is you're blaming us For white people saying Yes uh, uh, N-word Yes And that's wild to me Okay fine But let's stop saying it no, And it's wild to I don't me see why That I can watch shows on YouTube That cut out every other word Apart from nigger like this wild to me too. That's really wild to me. Well, that black people do that. Black do people do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Do you, do okay. you think, Mugs, that if we stop using it, that they would stop using it? The racist ones won't. So would it intensify the effect of the racist ones using it if we stop using it? Yeah, but racist, the racists shouldn't use the word. It shouldn't be used if it anyway. What, what should happen? What would you then do if it is you've told the blacks to stop using it and the, the whites continue using it? What you would could, you do? Um. Mob, mob law, mob justice. All right. So what I think is easier <laughs> to let justice no peace is <laughs> to make sure your white. Is the way he said mob justice. Your, mob justice. Make sure your white brethren don't um get a pass to use it. It's very simple, right? Did you? What do you mean? You said that you would allow your white brethren to see it. I'm saying it's not like I'm saying I hear that word and I don't care about it. I don't. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's not empowering. I don't take it about. I don't care about the word. I care about how it's used in context. You get me? Because it could be a vicious word. And if someone's using it in those ways, then I care. Do but the know, whole, the word itself, I hear know, it too much, you, too often. And see too people do too much with me to care them, about the word. It's very easy for them to not use the word. That's, you realize that, right? So that's, that's what I'm thinking. I think, I'm thinking, it's, I think it's easy for so us to not use the you, word as well. If you've got a white friend, he can call you, he can call you your name. How that's about that? Fine. But that's, that's, you don't I don't even have to say that. But for him to choose to say it, it's easy for us. Yeah, there's a little issue there for me. It's easy for us not to use the word as well. It is, but the onus is not on us. No, no, it's harder for us. No, it's harder for us. You think the word nigger is being used because we don't have self worth because that's an argument that I'm willing to listen to. But the argument of of we need to like I don't like the idea of someone do something wrong to us. It feels not like victim blaming because I'm not going to call black people victims. But it feels I feel like your logic just doesn't sit well with me. This idea that we should stop saying it and then they will take they our will, example. They were saying it first. They didn't need any. They didn't need. They didn't see. We got the black, word from them. They didn't see a black a black person saying nigger. Like, oh shit! I love. That. I like that. Nigga. You make it like, look here. Yeah, look here. Yeah. I don't know who's the who, who the owners is on here. Yeah. Slave owners. Look, you gotta understand. Take yeah, it back. Yeah. We're yeah. accepting it yeah, and we're making it cool. Yeah, you can't do it. Yeah, you can't do nothing. You can say like you can't do nothing bad, but when it comes to niggers and rare, 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 you can do everything. And it's just like even the connotation of the word, it wouldn't make no sense. You think you think like like we're crazy. Bro, like listen to a rap lyrics. Yeah, listen to a rap lyrics. I'm looking like, oh yeah, I'm gonna kill niggas. And then I see these niggas, they're dead. Change that word niggas and put any other word there. And you think this person's a psychopath? Put Chinese people. Don't, yeah. don't even use derogatory terms. Just say Chinese okay. people. Anywhere I, anyway, yeah, I, I see that. these Chinese people, they're dead. Yeah. Like, like, change, say it's any other word. You think these people are crazy. But when it's niggas, it's cool. We allow all of this. The problem where, where we are now, yeah, is because of us. I promise you. 
I promise you. I... It's because of these stupid bullshit opinions with this word and rare, 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 rare. So my opinion on it is, yeah, because if no one don't want to hear it, yeah, let's us not use it and not do all this stupidness with it. And then we won't get in these problems and then we can police it properly. Because when we hear other people saying things, then it's, it's a no, it's a hard no. There's no gray lines, there's no confusion, all these opinions, all this stuff. No, it's not a good word. Do you use the word nigger? Yeah. Can I say that? That was a very good example that helped me understand. You know, I meant. understand yeah. that made because perfect I sense to me and strong. I get it. That was strong. To me, <laughs> that was strong one, That was a strong one, Marks, yeah. No, no, that was, no, that was a compelling, that was a good um, argument you just made. Yeah. yeah, that was a good one. But for me, it doesn't mean that white people should be able to use it regardless of what you just said. I'm not saying that they should be. I'm saying so I don't can, care. You're saying yeah. that we can police it better. We, he was like, if you care enough, I, then stop yeah, using I it so we can police it better. I agree that we could, should maybe stop using the words because we've Because it's not like I love the We've turned a slur into something cool. The word is not cool. Yes. The word should not be used. But for, for for whatever reason, we've chosen to use the word as a term of endearment for whatever reason because we were called or whatever. Your, your argument is, ro- is is correct and it's, and it's right. But to me, a white person who have, you've got the whole dictionary to choose from. Mm, your you know, language. Why choose <laughs> a word that you well, know, even though we know, even, no, even though we know no, better, even though, better, even though, even though Marks, even though we're using it in a in an endearing way. Big man, use a different word. Yeah, no, of course. Don't saying, use like, the word nigger. Full stop. And I'm know, not going to hear, but it's in your rap music. I don't give a shit. Can, can I, I don't even use the, the word across, regardless. I feel like I'm saying it wrong. I'm not like... Just, no, you're like, saying You said it right. Yeah, but, no, but I'm not just saying like, yeah, yeah, like free yes. For all, everyone, like free for everyone all. Yeah, just it. say it. Yeah, just okay. do it. What I'm trying to say is like, I'm not... Like, I'm not just going to... I'm just not... You're I'm, not offended yeah, by no, when you hear it. You're you're breezy with it. You don't really care. I get that. But at the same time, I don't think we should... Put the Have message across there, where you know what it's fine if a white person. It's not. We shouldn't. Fine. We should put the message across that no one should say the word. The issue is, <laughs> we as black people, it's 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 just a part of our day to day now. To unlearn that is going to be hard. But I think we should. I I, I put like I, I started saying that because my thing is that I think we inherited it. Like we inherited this. Yeah, idea we did. That it's okay. We didn't it. create the word. But we inherited we the word. Can, we can absolutely unlearn it because the one day I say that and another black person gets offended, I'm going to be shy for myself. That's your term in it. Like I'm yeah. going yeah. to think it's um really like like why, why did I say it? Yeah, like why did I say yeah. it? So for me, I do think there is. I'm personally thinking that yeah, it's time to start unlearning that. It's so yeah. when you go back home, do you hear the word? Because I haven't been to Africa, but I heard you don't hear it. Back there, or maybe I like maybe in, pop, in popular culture. You know what? That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. We've got other battles to fight. I'm not gonna. The things I'm not gonna fight. That's why. I'm not gonna fight for the freedom of the word nigger. Like of all the fights I want to have, I'm not gonna fight for that. But what I don't like, it feels like there's never any onus on when we're brainwashed. Why don't you hear it back in Africa? Then why don't you hear it? Can I ask you a question? To be fair, to be fair, we don't we don't live there, so we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. I watched Atlanta. They could be using it in a day to day, but we're here. We don't know. I watched Atlanta, and there was the. You guys know. Childish Gambino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched it. So there's a scene where this white boy comes around him and just says the word nigger. He's like, my nigger, like blah blah blah. Then when he was around the black people that he rated, he didn't try and dare say it. Yeah. And let's just be let, even if something is something you're comfortable with, there's a consciousness that I the reason why I have a problem with white people saying nigger is because I think it's very telling of their mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Whether you want to say it's with a song or whatever, because and I think the reason why I believe that is because there's so many other terms that they would never dare say. If a, a slur against Jewish people, a slur against exactly. um, gay people. Yeah, but exactly. like, I think you're right. As black yeah, people, we're so used to we're so used to like horrible shit that maybe we're less we're a bit desensitized when things are used, and then we just think it's cool. Okay, whatever, cool. But, but Jewish people, yeah, stand up, yeah, and if you say anything bad about the name or slurs or whatever, yeah, they don't use they, it. They, they flog you, yeah. If they were standing up, yeah, like parading. Offensive Jewish words And making songs about it, right? Yeah There would be confusion Amongst us About About how we could Refer to them Or talk to them No yeah. There would be as it, as it stands now There is no confusion Yeah, yeah. Do you, know what, do you know what I'm trying to say yeah. Yeah. Do, you know, do you know what it comes down to It comes down again to Where we started off Where you said how Like similar to how Like Christianity Black people unfortunately Were the, were the part of every joke Where yeah. the, the token yeah. Yeah. Where the And we're the bottom of the barrel So yeah. people don't care to it's not that we are, but our perception they... is. Our perception is. It's not yeah. that we are, we're elite. Okay, we're not, sorry. Yeah. But sometimes it seems that society sees us yeah, yeah, like yeah. we're at the bottom of it. Yeah. So I feel like people are, they, they care less to navigate yeah. around us. Especially because we have no power. And, uh, if they offend us, it doesn't stop mm, their livelihood. You know what I'm trying to say? It doesn't stop their livelihood. Like, mm. it, that's disgusting. Ra- <laughs> the way racist, the way, you know, people are not punished for racism, mm. but people are punished for. Um, anti, Have you ever seen homophobia, um, anti-Semitic, anti-Semitic, um, anti-Semitic remarks, homophobia, yada yada yada. When it's racism, nobody really cares. Yeah, yeah. And that's my whole point. 
Okay, well, um, that was a phenomenal conversation, guys. I'm really proud of us. Absolutely um, was, absolutely was. You really articulated yourself really well at the end there. Yeah, that first, that, that last point there. Last point you made. Just got yeah. straight there because that was strong. Makes that sense. Was, Makes everything else before that, it was given. I, I don't know. know. My takeaway is that he lives his white bridge in Spotify. But I don't think he does. I no, think I don't think he does. An argument. I don't you think said, no, the friends you are too late. Tigo. No, I don't you, think Tigo was saying that. I don't think Tigo was. I don't know Tigo, but I don't think people that are close to Margs because Margs is super intelligent. He's not an idiot. I don't think. Margs would have white close friends that feel like that's okay to say. Like, yeah. I just don't think that. As much, yeah, I, think, I don't have no white people that's right now. I know that already. Like that. The yeah. way his pride is set up, I couldn't even imagine him being around. The way he is aversive to stress. No, but I don't yeah. see that. He calls them the beast. Hmm? You call white people the beast. Ma- Do you want the show to continue? I'm just saying. You call up white people <laughs> I'm just saying. What? He, called them he the calls what? them the beast. The, the, the beast. beast. As in, as in, as in, a, as a community. Is what do you mean? Word on the road to finish? It's just a look. Listen, no, it really I'm, wasn't. Oh, I just, just made a point. I, 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 I understand. Look, I, I care point. about history. I care about history of the world. I'm very in tune to it. And that's why they get called a beast because they're animalistic and barbaric and they treat us horrible. So but that, when he says that, is yeah. he can back it up with tons of facts. Yeah. So... But I'm not saying I with anyway, Esther. But even so, Brent's right, because I <laughs> I don't have anything against white people. And so just like language and stuff to me, it is important, but it's like how you use it is shit. You get what I'm trying yeah, to say? And, so, and yeah. why have you chosen to use this word? Yeah, so even that the point that you are making is is real. You get what I'm trying to say? I'm not even trying to diminish it. I'm probably just talking from the personal experience, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So I'm mm. saying I don't. Because no one else, because nobody else holds any stock in the word. This is mm. what you sort of shown me from what I see outwardly looking. Because nobody else cares and holds any stock in that word. I don't care and hold any stock in that word. I care. So I'm not going to put no energy into it unless someone's using yeah. it as a weapon. Yeah? If someone's using it as a weapon or, a, or as a way to offend me, then you have my attention. Mm. If not, then it's just the same idiot use word that you've all been saying and saying in our hair every day. I don't care about it. Okay. Fair Sorry. Right. That's fair. What can I do? Um, okay, so, so well, people start caring and I'll start caring. I hear that. Okay, well, this is news I definitely care about. Um, <laughs> <laughs> black, just a bit of black excellence to end the segment. Um, Burner Boy closed the Billboard Music Awards with a uh, performance. I was very, very proud of him. He looked amazing, as always. He always delivers. And he performed his new song called Last Last mm, and time. also Kilometer. And I thought it was very iconic that it was his first time there and he closed the show and he got a standing ovation from everybody and it just looked amazing. It was just well, P. Diddy hosted, Great. right? They're lacking Burner Boy oh, yeah. and Afrobeats and yeah, Adam yeah, yeah. right They're doing it, loving it. They're loving yeah. it. Um, and Doja Cat looks fantastic. She did. Oh she my, did. Doja Cat she looked... Did. Doja Cat is she's okay. losing a bit of weight. Why are they making herself slim for? No, I mean she's just she weight. dances a lot. You know, she's a phenomenal performer she's as well. A, she her awkwardness she's an actual as well. Artist. Do you, okay, she's hot cute. take. Oh, I don't. She she's, is. She's she's, she's stunning. She There's is. something about her that I just fuck with. I just, and I she's think just she's real. really rel- relatable as well. Like yeah. she's like really weird, and I like that. She's like very quirky. She is, and I. What like color that. is she? She's mixed, I believe. I think she's South African and something. I like her. I like her, man. Yeah, she's such good vibes. But, um, that, who's that white girl following Megan around? Oh, Cara, she didn't get her out of here. No. Cara Delevingne. I feel bad for her though, because imagine waking up and now everyone's calling you a weirdo. I mean, you right. have been acting weird. But what'd she do though? Basically, it's like there's different videos of her um just <laughs> harassing <laughs> black. Yeah, she, so basically, Megan was on the on the carpet, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and Megan's got like a train for her dress. Yeah. But I get it because the picture that came out, Slapped, sick picture. Yeah. Great but content. She, Cara's so a she kind of was like, yeah, but she's kind of like fluffing up her dress. So so when the cam when the um, paparazzi took the picture mm-hmm. The flowy bit is in air Yeah That makes sense right yeah, it's yeah. Good. But she was very overbearing And then when they were in the awards show Like Megan and Doja trying to have a moment And she's just lurking And then They kind of This is one of Megan's fan pages right Yeah Must have um, Cropped her out of the picture Cropped out of the picture And Megan, Megan reposted And it. Megan reposted <laughs> the story But then also There's videos now Where she's where the, It's come out where she's um, She's kind of harassing um, Azealia Banks on stage When she was trying to perform and she's just there, like sniffing her legs and kissing her legs, and she's been doing some weird stuff. Oh, I think she's, the room. she's on something. No, I think she's on something. Oh. She's on something. High as a mini skirt, isn't it? Yeah, but <laughs> um, high as a mini skirt. <laughs> that is all from me today. Thank you so much. That was probably one. Of, that was one of my favorite conversations. Thanks again. Word on so word awesome. on road never fails to deliver, man. Thank but you for that. Let's go into it. Oh, so guys, a new segment is coming up now. A new segment. Are we ready? Is he ready? ready. It's We're time ready. for rotation. <laughs> 
All right, then. So we our daily segment today is called Rotation. I'm going to hand it over to Yusuf. Actually, first, let me tell you what it's about. This is the new music segment. We are for the culture. So, of course, we have to talk about music. And it will be led by Big Man Yus, where he'll be keeping everyone up to date on all new music and giving his expert review on it. And if it's worth checking out. So, over to you, Yusuf. All right, guys. Welcome to the Rotations. The Rotations. You get me? Who is this? The rotation. <laughs> where did Yusuf go? All right. This is a new music, music segment. Um, I think the biggest music news of the past week would definitely be the release of Kendrick Lamar's yeah. new studio album, uh, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. This is his last album on TDE, uh, which is a label he's been with since the beginning. Mm. I think he's now going to be on his own label, PG Lang. It's his fifth album. Uh, first of all, has anyone else in the room heard the album? Any other, any other listeners? I haven't listened to all of it, but I've listened to some of it. <laughs> Koi, anything? Yeah, Esther? I heard no, you cheat on his missus. Okay, that's... He said an album. Uh, men love to embarrass me. Watch Yusuf not bring that up in <laughs> doing not the That's why I had to stay on top of it, sis. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah they're going crazy about yeah. the colorism in it. You know, oh, and all the words yeah. that he was using. You know, you, know, you know Kendrick is one of them, obviously, he's one of the most popular artists out right now. And whenever he releases music, people are quickly quick to jump on the review and call it a classic and mm. call it da 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 I know. I'm like, the album came out like five minutes ago. give it time, give it time. I've listened through twice. Okay. And Kendrick is not an artist who I expect bad music from. Okay. You know what I'm trying to say? He's definitely of a certain ilk. A certain, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, upper echelon artist, uh, oi, if you oi. will. The album's good. Mm-hmm. The album's very good. Um, I feel like it's a mixture of DNA, which was more of his, I would say, up-tempo commercial stuff. Mm-hmm. And then To Pimp a Butterfly, which is the more black, woke. conscious, woke music. I feel this is like a good marriage of the two. Nice little equal balance. Um, he does touch on a lot of topics that I didn't expect. There's one song called Auntie Diaries, where he's Auntie Auntie Diaries. Okay, where he's de- detailing his auntie who um, is a trans is transgender. Oh yes, I'm trying to say the correct term. I don't want to get it wrong. Um, the chorus is my auntie is a man now. Okay, so that means his auntie is is, is, a, is, a, is a trans male. Correct. Mm. Right. Cool. So the whole song. Yeah, I don't know why you looked at Mark, Mark. to tell you that's correct. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, have so the whole so- the whole song details his, his experience of, with that. Okay. Um, As in, what was his struggles with it? Because, like, having now, like, what's going to do you? Like, why are you spilling her tea? It's, it's more so to do with you know how he viewed it, how okay he dealt with you know finding out, and how he had to explain it to his friends and yada yada yada, and how it just affected the family and whatnot. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Now with them. Yeah, everything. Everything. You're asking me a bit too much questions. Sorry. So you listen. Uh, to yeah. me. <laughs> now you know how it feels. Um, <laughs> another song I love is a song called "We Cry Together," which is essentially him and uh, his partner just arguing back and forth. I love that. Just cussing, it's, that. it's different. Red Free Two did that. It's different. They're just cussing each other out. Fuck yeah! Fuck. But it's very. It's just highly level of profanity. Yo, fuck you, bitch. Yo, Do you fuck know what? You, it's sick still. Don't let Mark say that. Is that yeah, like... Yeah, I know the word... You'll be triggered still. The, the, the word <laughs> niggas in there, I lost it. <laughs> That's only one of the two tracks you've ever listened to. Yeah. Um, but like, stuff like that, do you you'll know what you'll you'll be in like, real time or... I hope that him and the girl were in the, in the studio so together just that. going back and forth because it was so cool. it was in proper intense. Do you remember when Wretch 3 2 did that with... Someone, re- someone reminded me of that. Yeah, yeah that yeah. is a sick song. That yeah. is such a good song. So yeah, I love that. Um, He's got Kodak Black on here. On He's kind of narrating the album... So to speak, like he's got a few interludes, but it's okay. also on one of the songs as well. So he has a strong presence on the album, which was interesting that he chose Kodak to kind of be almost his co-star. I've never heard that man speak. Um, well, Kodak has like Kodak's a checkered funny. past. Like a, like, he does, he does. And, and so that came up a lot. I didn't know. Yeah, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't know that he had like... Oh, they said that he pleaded guilty to something. What did he do? To, to rape or something oh, like that. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean... Kodak has a, has a quite... In America, yeah. Colorful history. In America... Is there context around that? I, I honestly don't know. I didn't even know he had been... I saw it. I don't know nothing about the case. By the way, I don't even know if that's true, yet. but I just know... you. No, I'm sorry. They said, that he, they said that he pleaded guilty to raping someone back in the day, whatever. But what I'm saying is, yeah, I, I don't know anything about anything. I don't know what he's done. He pleaded guilty, so he's got to do whatever he's got to do. That's his business. And that's our time, guys. Tune yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in next week for half the episode. No, but like, them... A lot of... Um, a lot of them people in America like um Please. they take they Please. take they take the they take the pleas oh, yeah, and stuff yeah, because yeah. it's just it's just what you're facing can be worse and the chance yeah. that you're getting the worst thing is higher than so yeah, it's how just, do we it's just, know it's just easier. So I don't so I'm not yeah, I'm weird. not saying that he's done that, yeah. but I'm saying when I saw the information, yeah. I did look at it and think, well, yeah. I need 
a bit. I need a bit of a so that charge was before here. he had like money and and the ability to have legal to help fight and all like of that. that. Yeah. Maybe I need some more. I, I just when I saw it, I just said I need a bit more information on this before I just. It's pass interesting because one side of Twitter is really all about how system systematic racism and how terrible and fuck things are, but then the other side of Twitter it just cares about cancelling you out. Yeah, like without consequences. So it's really crazy because I never would have thought that, but you're right. Yeah, because like, a lot of America is a really tough yeah. place. So. Yeah, I was thinking, but at the same time, was it, it, it's, it's a horrible thing to have attached to, yeah. But in that situation, was pleading guilty the best situation? Or was he really guilty? Did he really, like, I don't know. I think, I don't know. I, I, I I think haven't we haven't seen, done research, it's really hard for us to talk about. Yeah, but I've yeah. seen stories, and I'm, I guess this is not to code, like, I'm just talking about the system in America, but um, before they come and fight me. But because um, we know you like to tussle. I know you like to tussle. <laughs> But um, yeah, I've seen like cases in America where like people have actually pleaded guilty to like the maddest crimes. But that's because if they didn't, what they were facing could be worse. And the chance of them getting the worse was higher. higher. They can't, they can't afford a good Kalees lawyer Bada. or anything like that. So mm-hmm. it's like they go to prison and sometimes years and years and years Kalees later, Bada. they turn it, they're like, oh, actually, yeah, you were innocent. But <laughs> and everyone like, oh, but why do you say that? But it's like, bro, yeah, believe me, what I was up. facing is better for me to just say, yeah. Mm. Then say Then stand my ground Because some people Stand their ground And they end up in there anyway so. And again I don't want to underflog me I'm not saying that's what happened With Kodak I don't None know None of us I'm are just No saying, no yeah We're just We don't uh, have the research I, I'm just saying I that's to something Kesey should have done yeah, I'm just We are reporting what, No wait, this, is, this is about Kendrick Lamar This is not about, it's not about Kodak Black But you know he's about Kodak though He's, he's um, <laughs> I would say Revered by his peers though like, Kodak? He's, 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 he's What does he look like? He's a genius He's respected When you say he's a genius I don't think I've taken him in Because he doesn't give that genius just off of the off is, it of the guy, the... is it not the guy with like a meme or something mm, and his yeah. teeth are very is he the one that went for Lauren you know Lauren, 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 yeah. 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 that was funny as yeah. well was it yeah, it was funny to me. That was I embarrassing. Was, I, I was. I've, I'm not even gonna lie. He said sorry. I must be proper evil because yeah, that was said, hilarious he to me. Sorry. He said sorry. And so funny that you still find it funny. Oh, oh, it was hilarious. And what was even more funny to me was the outrage on the internet. How everybody was angry. Like Lauren was their sister or something like this. She and, is. And, well, I, I just thought that, I thought that was hilarious. I was like, why is everyone so? Like, yeah. That was funny. Oh, yeah, he's what did he say again? He's like, yeah. He said, oh. I want to. Yeah, something. <laughs> it was what he said was. Funny. It was funny. It, it no, was funny. no, it wasn't. Let me Donnie's, not participate. Trust me, it was rude. It he was shot very rude. Shot. He shot his shot at, me, at Lauren literally a couple the, days after. Yeah, the body was still warm. Yeah, after Nipsey had gone. And, and obviously, we can see that Lauren is like in a state right that is, now. Yeah. That is unhinged behavior. It was literally, I think, after it <laughs> came out. <laughs> <he just, laughs> that's wild. It literally came out after she, we wild. found out that she fainted in the hospital or something like that. Yeah. And then yeah. he said something. And then it was kind of like the whole internet was like, Read the rhythm. You know, I need like, people to gauge what I'm like. I, I, I can't. I words can't explain how funny I'm. Like, <laughs> no, it's actually. It wasn't funny. I didn't think it was funny work. at all. It's, mad work. I'm only fu- it's him laughing now <laughs> that is like. Yeah, you, but but it wasn't funny in the moment, and he even apologized, and he doesn't seem like an, someone who apologizes. So. He didn't mean that apology. He, they was on his neck. The <laughs> yeah, pressure was coming from do you know everywhere. Do you know what? Why they were on his neck? Because it wouldn't have just been the internet that was on his neck. It would have been like olders and yeah, his yeah, friends. Yeah, I would have yeah, been like yeah. nigger, like. Yeah. Fix up. Yeah, no, everyone was on him. It was on him. And you know black men listen to other black men, so. Yeah. Did you like the intro? If that ain't a word. Of the album? Mm. Yeah. What well, is that as far as you've, you've gotten? Well, the intro? Yeah. No, but that break beat in the intro was like, I nearly, I nearly switched it off. No, that was awesome. I'll t- tell, tell you what I got to. You know you have an exam, yeah? So, and yeah. they tell you to revise a particular yeah. topic. Yeah. And you didn't go past the first page, and then you make yeah. an entire yeah. essay oh, about yeah. that first page. What's, what's, that what's, is marked right now. What's on track one? I said that break beat. <laughs> it's like yeah, but like track one there. <laughs> so that, actually, the album's a um, double album. So there's, like, there's two. Part A, part B. How long yeah. is it? Is it got a majillion? It's a, it's one <laughs> it's hour, 20. one hour thirteen minutes. How many, how many tracks? Uh, it's got eighteen tracks. Ooh, what um, mood, yeah, what I can't mood. talk about this. I've only listened to five. Yeah, so my my standout tracks for anyone who wants to kind of you know maybe skim through and stuff. So uh, use his recommendations. Uh, Mirror, I love. He's got a song called Purple Hearts, which is him, Summer Walker, and Ghostface. I'm okay. listening to that. That's sick. You you have all your. I'm going, going to. to. Uh, father time. He's talking about issues he has with, has with his father. I listen to that. I resonate with that song. Yeah, okay. I probably resonate with that. Um, oh, I want to hug everyone. Uh, Miss, Mr. Morale, I believe, was produced by. Pharrell as well Which is quite cool Phenomenal Saviour Is heavy as well I love the beat on that one I listened to Saviour You said heavy That N95 sounded cold though I didn't love N95 you know. I Ooh, think I, 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 was, yeah. I was rocking with it I needed to give it Sorry. a double Listen it sounded cold I don't, I don't So what N95. number track is N95 <laughs> Number two <laughs> Number two <laughs> No, no, that's what, what, that's you know what, what I remember it because it's 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 just the, um, yeah. the, the, the um the intro is all like that fast thing thing and then it slows down yeah. a bit and he you know raps it. That's why I remember it. And I was thinking I like this. Do you know? I'm glad it was number two. Yeah. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm yeah. glad it's number two because I was about to say, oh my gosh, do you listen on shuffle? 
Oh, you don't now you know he's listening to. Yeah, and I was gonna. But that's how you differently, Mugs. I don't listen on shuffle. No one listens on shuffle. No, no, listen to a new album on shuffle. My friend does shuffle. You have to listen to each sequence. This is how I intended you to listen to it. You can't listen to a new album on shuffle. Once you listen to it once yeah, yeah, yeah. or twice, then you can pick your no, I can't I even do that. Why? When I if I sit on shuffle by accident, it throws me off. When I hear a song and I know what's coming next and the wrong song don't come next, yeah, I'm like, oh god, this is But do you always listen? I gotta turn No, no. Do you always listen to albums? That's what you think is crazy. Pick out a few songs that you like. You don't just pick out a few songs you like after you listen to it once or twice. No, you always, you always just listen from top to bottom. Uh, yeah, always. That must be exhausting. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, that uh, but I, I, and I'll just and I'll, I'll play it in it. If I don't like something, I'll just skip. I'll just skip it. I do always play. It's it. funny how you don't, you don't care about a lot of things in life, but, but the things that he and does. Care about. Like, oh my gosh, they do that. Oh, and, don't forget, and don't forget, apples are not back together. That will fall. That will make him fall on the floor. Oh my gosh, uh, loose apples. Damn, you can't have that. You, <laughs> yeah. So what if I? What would my mood be after listening to this project? Like, what Sorry. would I feel? I thought, you was gonna, I thought your question was going to be like, do you, do you use loose apples? <laughs> yeah, okay, that's the first question. Do you eat loose apples? Like when you go one to, single apple. Like, like when, when you go, go and buy apples, yeah. you buy, do you get loose ones? No, I, together? I, I buy a bag. Good bag, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't just picking apples, bro. <laughs> you are part of the show. You are officially part of the show. You why? Are. Why? Who, who buys loose apples? No one buys loose what? apples. Oh, this oh, deviant <laughs> <hair. laughs> <laughs> one, that's, that's far too long. That's all. Call you a real one. No, I said you can't embarrass me for the new guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said nobody here. He was like, you do. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey guys, if you lot um, buy loose apples, let us know in the comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah stand with me, please. <laughs> so what would my feeling be after listening to this project? Because I love Kendrick. Um, I think your feeling might be, oh, I've, I've actually learned a bit more about Kendrick Lamar. Like oh. who he is as a person, what he's been going through, yada, yada, yada. Okay. I don't think he's, re- he's broached any new... Grounds in terms of his social stuff. So what about mm-hmm. him cheating most, on his missus? What, what did more, he reveal about that? You know, I need to listen again for. I think that just went in. Of course, it did. You're mad. Of course, of course, it bloody did. No, no, no I think he, the black man. That's crazy. There's a lot of there's a lot of like strong profanity. Like he says the word. I know you hate this. He said the word faggot like a million times as well. Oh, the crazy. Friend, yeah. Oh, remember, oh yeah. People are coming to fight fight him online yeah. because of that. And also, you know the joke online. What's he said in reference to to the auntie thing? But he was no, basically... was it was it on that song was a different song? I, I can't remember. What I saw was that um what I saw was someone who is trans saying that they get that people are annoyed about it, but people are taking yeah. away what it is. So he's basically what he, they're saying is that he was talking about how how bad the word is and how normalized it was around like yeah. a certain but yeah. that kind of just re, you know the way he's quite like yeah. reenacting kind yeah. of thing. So it wasn't that he was saying in a hateful way, he's just saying this is what was normalized then. So and what he was doing, the person was saying as well, was that he was drawing attention to how our minds to change kind of thing. Yeah. Mm. But people obviously just heard the word and they went yeah. off on And him. also how council culture isn't real that like you niggas still listen to R. Kelly. <laughs> Then they do. That's what he said. A lot of people do. Yeah. And they do. I listen to Trey songs. What else he said? Was, he, he said that, oh, oh, that he, he doesn't get. You don't need to confess. He don't, don't get why it. Drake and Kanye have made up. Like, and I think he doesn't. He said that speaks to his immaturity because to him he wouldn't piece it up. Okay. As well. What Drake and Kanye? Yeah. So that we, is Kenny on smoke. I think so. And also, what I was gonna say was Kendrick smoky. Do you, do you know the narrative online that Kendrick doesn't make like wavy music or music you can kind of like that play in the clubs and he does. No, there's a narrative that he doesn't as a, as in totality. Yeah, you know, yeah. there's there's a, there's that meme of, he that, and J. Cole. of that guy break he dancing. Yeah, but then they put the Kendrick <laughs> conscious music over it. Yeah, some of these songs like N95 gives me that vibe. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 the guy just pop pop locking, but it's like <laughs> my black people, my sisters rise up. You know what I mean, rise J- up. J- like, that reminds me of Madonna's son when you said that. Yeah, so some of the album gives me that vibe, like We're that same conscious never. Kendrick over those proper like will, amen. you know. Gritty hip hop beats, but, he's but, just, he, uh, but he, he does give you moments of like, you know, this is a bit of a commercial song. This is a bit more light. But did he address that though? As in, did he address it? That uh, the people think he's boring. No, 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 no. I don't believe he does. <laughs> no, Esther, summarizes. he's doing a lot of the, um, <laughs> a lot of the um, character stuff in it, like the voice. Yeah, like, there is there is one song where that. he he has a whole entire voice. I can't remember off the top of my head what type of voice it is, but he literally has a whole. It's like when Eminem was doing the whole Indian voice. Yeah. yeah. Nicki Minaj did it first. Yeah, but Nicki Minaj does With it Roman. in spurts. Eminem done it for a whole album. Oh, okay. And oh, he's done shit. it for a track or two. But Kendrick's got he's got a sick voice. Like he can manipulate his voice and adapt and I'm just it. so glad that he's 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 got the tools to be able to create the way he wants to. Can you imagine how many like creative ass people are just stuck in like the hood or whatever and they're not able to really express it? Mm. Yeah. Like I just love the fact that he 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 can actually do these things. These are things that I think if he was first discovered, it would have been hard to sell through. He yeah. had to do, you know, good kid mad city. He had to do things that felt a little bit familiar. Yeah. Though those were amazing pe- yeah. projects. But now you can just see him 
saying, fuck it, I've got my money, I've got my space. Yeah, yeah. Got he my... can literally do whatever he wants. I can do whatever I want. I can literally do whatever I want. And I think this album, this album, like, proves that. Do you know, I feel like as an artist, that must be the best thing in the world. When you don't have to panel to your label, panel to this person. Creative like, freedom. You just do what you yeah, want yeah, yeah. to do. Who do you think, which artist do you think is like, represents creative freedom for you? J. Cole. Okay. Cole for sure. I think Kendrick does for sure. Someone who doesn't, I think is Drake. I think Drake Please. panders to the fans. He definitely does. You yeah. think it's creative freedom? No, 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 I'm saying he, he definitely panders. I, oh, he I, think the, the I think the fans, he knows his last how album, to His last album really showed them. that. Do you know who I think is all Afrobeats? Burner Boy. Yes. Yeah. I like he's, yeah, he's got crazy freedom. Now. I like Bernard. Like he does what he wants to do, and he talks about what he wants to do, and I love it. Don't get me wrong, Drake can do what he wants to do yeah, because yeah, yeah. he's that guy. He chooses but not to. he chooses not to because maybe I don't think afraid. he wants. I don't think. He, I don't think he's. I don't think he's dying to express himself. Like I think he expresses himself exactly how he wants. Like, this, yeah. this is this is who he is. Yeah, yeah. there is no more to it. No, we don't want to do it. Let's be real. It must be does. really hard to feel creatively free in this cancel culture, everyone complain society. Like yeah. it must feel so long. Like do you know what? What? The day if if Drake <laughs> the day Drake gets cancelled, the Trump is gonna stand up. To be fair, Drake because be that's what I'm saying. Is, I don't I can't see him. He can't get cancelled. He can't, I can't see him get cancelled. His his biggest he's controversy was with the so black face. Well, so what's he worrying about? Yes, what's he worrying about? When did he do blackface? Black face? Ages ago. He back when he was younger, but no, um, oh. Pusha T used it as a part of his beef, oh, okay. beef roller. But yeah, then what else can he do? He can't do nothing. Yeah, so why can't he should be creative feet? No, 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 no. Drake, Drake can be cancelled for sure. I'm saying yeah, he he doesn't he doesn't have the urge to do all that. All them vocal acrobatics and all these things Screaming. or social activist stuff. He doesn't. He's 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 expressing himself. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I, so this I, is the real him. Yeah, that's what I believe. Yeah, no, I think this is the real him. To be fair, I need nothing was the same Drake. Oh, what a f- that was. Oh, that, that was a project. Is a project. That was a project. I like to listen to that shuffle. Yeah, I can listen Absolutely. to that shuffle. Thank you so much. Yes. Rotation is that strong. Was, that was the. Uh, Rotations. Is that going to be every week or is that going to be every day? I got speak. I got speak to my producer first. To Fuck figure them. Out. What do you want to do? <laughs> I could do it daily, but if it's daily, don't might, that get in trouble. If it's, yeah, like, if, it's, if, it's, if, it's, if it's daily, it might be more music news as opposed to new music. music. All right, then just know because I can't. All your I mean, music new music doesn't come out We can't have two word and roads. I can't. I can't <laughs> Yeah, but your, 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 yeah, but your segment doesn't just cover music. Yeah, he could talk about like nuts going to every. Like, he could example, talk about yeah. nines coming out. Like you could talk about all yeah. that stuff. Don't worry, you know what it is. No, okay, we'll, so yeah, stuff. We're gonna... No, so it's gonna be nines coming out of where, but I get it. Yeah. We'll, 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 you know, we'll, I hope the queens compare we'll liaise. Us. Yeah, we'll liaise, yeah, yeah man, yeah. teamwork and that. I'm proud yeah. of you guys. Thank you. With that, guys, let's go into the headline, which is my section. <laughs> <laughs> teach me that. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be me and Marx because I, I want to hear what Marx has to say about this. Met police officer's son dodges jail again. The son of two Met police officers who were previously involved in a crash that killed two men while Ooh. while he was dr- um, drug driving was spared jail today after he was caught with a stash of cannabis. Mad. Max Coopy. Um, age 20 from Ascot, Berkshire, so one of the shires, um, stood before District Judge Samuel Guzzi at Reading Magistrates Court on Friday after police searched his home address um, in 2019 and found that he had 120 grams of herbal cannabis and two grams of ca- cannabis resin in his bedroom at his parents' one million, well, not million, million mm-hmm. pound home. Do police officers make money like that? You they must be is. senior or something. But anyway. Corrupt li- police. Pardon? Corrupt the police. Now, one million pounds is a lot of money for two police officers. They met police officers. Do they make money like that? I, I think it depends. On the Maybe position. they bought the house back in there and now it's worth from one million. Maybe okay. they come from inflation. Money. Or they, oh, yeah, they could or come they from have money. other endeavors besides being police officers. Wow, not all of you guys coming up with reasonable explanations. Okay, cool. <laughs> a lawyer defending him said that Coopy had um, used the drugs to self medicate in the wake of the double fatal crash in 2018, where he hit and killed two pedestrians while driving his father's sports car. So they're using his previous crime as an explanation for his, for current, his current crime. crime. Crazy. <sighs> Crazy stuff. Crazy things are happening. Shout out to him. So he was <laughs> deemed not responsible um, as investigators claimed that the crash could not have been avoided. Can you imagine? Damn. At the time he was driving the father's sports car while over the... Sorry, at the time he was driving the, his father's sports car while over the limit for cannabis when he drove into sales manager Jason Immy, who is 48, and his colleague John Shackley, who is 61. They were thrown over the roof no. of the Audi A5 and unfortunately died the moment they hit the ground. Oh, they said this can be avoided. I think if they took drugs out of his system, this probably wouldn't have happened. Mm. But um, anyway, guys, your thoughts. That must be horrible for the victim's family. And I think this is a great segue into done out here. I'm not going to make any assumptions. But that must be horrible for the victim's family. Yeah. That is horrible. Yeah, that is just not it. Forty-eight is to me is still really young. That is young. Yeah, sixty-one. Sixty-one is terrible young. Terrible ways to go. Terrible ways to go. 
Um, and it feels like for him to still be doing bad things after that, you would think that that would, I don't know. It's crazy though because it's racism still. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Privilege, 100%. Oh, 100%. White privilege, racism. <laughs> it's, it's, all, it's, it's, racism. it's all of them. <laughs> I'm sick of Tyler the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> Not Mark's yeah. influencing. Another brand, another brand that won't work with us. <laughs> but, yeah. You know what um, it is, it's though? Wild. What? If I'm, um, it is privilege and all that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but if I'm a police officer, yeah, obviously, your child goes like, Yeah, I get it. I want, Not if my son's... I want, I want perks as a job. Of course. My son needs to be. Yeah, of course. My son needs to no, be. No, but I'm black. Well. My kids have gone for enough being black anyway, so I might see what I can do. No, but but... Don't you think he needs to understand well, that he's not okay. discipline? Because no, I he, think he, does, he, he murdered two no, people. But as, he didn't as, murder two people, he killed two people. As a parent, as a parent. Please explain to me. Explain to me that, please. Do you please. know what? Do you know what murder is? And yes, when you kill somebody. Intentionally. Yeah, but also, okay, so this wasn't intentional, but, was, but was there were things influence. he did to make this more yeah. more, more likely it was going to happen than otherwise. There were oversights on his behalf. There were, he did things to make this happen. Yeah, Somebody but not did. murder, though. He's not a murderer. All right, cool. His, his, intentions, his intentions weren't to go out there and kill anybody. He talked about he done stuff. He smoked weed. People smoke on the yes, drive every day. Yes, people smoke weed, but somebody died. I don't understand. Yeah, so like, when you die, you have to take responsibility for your actions, but it don't mean you have to change it. You're not just going to pretend like he was walking around. Like, okay, cool. Yeah, he done things. Negligence, wherever it may be, you have to take responsibility for his actions. Things happen because people have died. Cool. Yeah. But he didn't murder. He didn't like... Right, Koi, Koi, so, 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 so sorry to offend your cousin. If yep. you were driving and you were tired... Yeah. And you're falling asleep at the wheel and mm-hmm. you hit someone. Yeah. Would you say that you murdered that person intentionally? Okay. All right. So I wouldn't say murdered. The bottom line is that I need to be, that yeah. I need to be punished. You kill someone. Okay, cool. Do you feel like you deserve punishment if you fell asleep at the wheel and kill someone by accident? Yeah, I need to know it's not okay. No, this no, is no, hard no, no, for no. me. This is hard for me to want a punishment for myself. That's what but that's why I asked you, because that's gonna make you really understand what he's trying to say. I don't have a problem with trying to say that. I, I find it weird. That there's even a leap to defense, but this is no. I'm not defending about. him. I'm, I'm saying I understand why you don't his want to protect father, his reputation. He's not a murderer. No, I'm not trying to kill him. He said he murdered don't, people. Don't he do didn't that. murder him. Oh, right, I, 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 I don't care about this guy. I'm not trying to protect him. Uh, it's just that you could have fooled me. I'm, how could I could have fooled <laughs> you? We could have fooled me. I, I just wasn't expecting. I'm trying to. I'm trying to open up the discussion, right? Yeah. So that's what I'll ask you. We're caught up on a legal term. If you were a parent, would you do everything in your power to protect your child? Of course, I would. I can't I, lie to you I though. feel like murder like, Sorry Hitting people yeah. Gently with a car I feel like that He needs to understand That that's you know, Not he, okay He does And you're right I don't he, know if he does so You assume he done it on purpose and We just said that He hasn't they, So you said you need to understand That he's not okay you it's assume not okay. It, So he doesn't know Right from wrong then if if I murdered, No no but you know That I, some kids here Sorry just I think Because well, some kids here when they, If you're in that position Where you know Your dad's a police officer Blah 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 You come from privilege When you commit a crime It's like I know it's mad What I've done but daddy protect me. Like, your police officer, you don't yeah. know watch me. Jamie, you pull his... Yeah, but everybody... everybody so, all right, so no, 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 but what she's saying is that... Herself. What she's saying... So when she said that she needs him to understand, is to not just... Not just understand our fear. Like, understand what you've done is mad. And there needs to be some I can understand, but I want to protect myself. I don't want to go to jail... There still needs to be consequences in place. I can, I, I can if learn he, a lesson and understand, and still want to protect myself. Okay, like, I don't think you guys are understanding what I'm with saying. With the threat of what's going on, I understand. I've learned my lesson. I can still I, want to protect I myself. Can I say what I was saying? I feel like if he kill, so he killed these people. Yeah, he hit them with their car while he was under the influence. People smoke weed. I've never gone on, on the road and said you smoked weed. You're a terrible person. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that. I feel like if he had truly learned the gravity of his decisions, he wouldn't, he probably, there would be some ch- sort of change in behavior. Like the fact that he's still like, if I, if the reason why I killed somebody was because I fell asleep at the wheel, mm. I would never get behind the wheel of again, of the wheel of a car again, I'm um, sleepy. Yeah. Because I would need to understand that I literally just wrecked somebody's life. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So him being found with this, with cannabis or whatever, which he's, you know, legally he shouldn't have anyway, but this was the key ingredient of why these lives were taken. Yeah. I would, him, I don't know. I just kind of feel like I'm worried that he hasn't actually learned a lesson. I'm worried that his privilege has meant that he doesn't really understand the gravity of the fact that two people have lost family members. That's, two that's families are fair, wrecked. That's, that's a fair something to make, and that might be true. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm I'm not here trying to like when I said murder, maybe that was a lazy term, and I, I'm just surprised that this is this is the hill that every, everybody wants. No, to no, I'm not dying on this hill. Strong I'm on. not dying on the but hill. But fine, cool. That's all. a distinction that you want to make, and I think that's fair. It's an accident. Accidents happen. Okay. Because and I agree. he's got into an because, accident. Because, we read news all the day where people go and attack people and things. You're reading about an accident. He accident. He acted. He accidentally done it. Can I say though? Actually, though, it doesn't say anything also, about also, him as a person this, this, this or happened, nothing. This happened to Brandy as well. Yes, I'm just saying. This, this, this crime huh? here, whatever. Yeah. 
You do not know this person. We're reading about what it's done. What this crime here does not say nothing about him as a person. It was an accident. You get me? Unless you're telling me he went and he was looking and driving around, looking for people to crash into, yeah. or he crashed into someone on purpose. What happened was it was an accident. People accidents happen all the time. If you're saying that he's more culpable for the accident because he was smoking, fair enough. Can I say but there as well? It still was accident. This news really is about. So what should the consequences be? I'm sorry, babe. So the news is about that they found cannabis with him. The the killing thing already happened. He didn't get sentenced for that. Mm. This is the second crime. So the second crime now is that they found cannabis in his room. And I feel like, obviously, this doesn't tell us whether he's been driving again with cannabis. I feel like if he's been driving <laughs> again with under the influence, then I, I would say take him to jail for the first crime and this one. Is he really Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but what I, I feel like I, the crime is, the first crime is mad, but I kind of get the fact that he's self-medicating with cannabis. I feel like it's like, even though he wasn't, for me, mm-hmm. that kind of shows remorse of the first one because he didn't get he didn't get convicted for that. He didn't go to jail for killing them, right? But he must be living some kind of guilt to feel like he has to self medicate and like. Well, really really look, yeah. What's safe, the difference between enjoying people enjoying like to say things all the time and, yeah, and not be realistic though about the because real lot, world no, that we live in? All he's doing is the weed. same thing he's been doing. No, but yeah. a lot of people that smoke weed are addicted to weed. No, but, really so so you don't think he should have stopped smoking weed because he hit the people? I, this is what we're saying Because all he's been caught Is weed So what He should have stopped smoking He hasn't done anything He, just, he still problem. smokes weed And, and, and you saying He's self-medicating weed. now is, He's still just smoking weed Yeah that's he's what I'm saying weed, yeah, but I've, yeah, but we no, don't know Are you saying much... He should stop though Because of what no, happened I'm not, saying, I'm not saying He should stop I'm saying that I understand The fact that he's self-medicating Using weed Like we, we don't know How much weed he smoked before And how much Whether it's now Gone up in Hold on Are you buying that? But I'm, I'm now self, self-medicating. I absolutely am yeah, because the thing is, while we see he was smoking weed before. Wait, wait, wait. While we see weed now as as cigarettes, yeah. it doesn't have that same effect on everybody. It's different depending on depending on the people, right? And I don't know how much weed. I don't know if, if that was the first time he smoked weed and yeah. he hit someone. Yeah. But for this now to be a pattern in his life, for me, this I am telling you now, it's not it, even though like they're patterning it, saying self-medication. I get where you're coming yeah. from. Yeah, it's real life. Yeah, his weed intake would have went up after he killed two people. Definitely. Like, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> of course it fucking would have. And the fact <laughs> weed, it might, it might be doing other things. But anyway, I just, yeah, it's about... I think, I think now that we understand how about him and his struggles and his worries, I'm just thinking to myself, like, there's two people whose lives were taken mm-hmm. that I feel like, you know, if he had done different things that day, I'm not even just talking about weed, maybe not driving, just, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but he's, if he, do you know what I mean? He's, their lives would still be here. Correct. So in my head, I'm just kind of thinking for their family who have seen him come up in the news again and it's full weed, which they are saying is a key ingredient in why yeah. their loved ones aren't there anymore. Yeah. Like they're going to want, yes, things happen by accident and, yeah. and stuff like that, 100%. But I'm just thinking from the point of view of the family, what's the justice here? No, I believe he should you know, be reprimanded in some fashion. I'm not excusing him for his actions. Regardless, you killed two people. You took two lives. You should be punished for that. I'm saying, <coughs> he's just lucky he's got a dad who's an officer. Because if yeah. I was his dad, I'll do the same thing. I'll mm. protect my son. Mm. I think I think I would 100% do the same thing. Especially because you things, killed him by... If lives know, were taken. Accident, essentially. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's tough. He's he's in a good space that he does He's, he's in a great space. This space is a phenomenal space. Because if that was an officer... Floor to see the window. The the court are not hearing. Oh, I was high and it was an accident. They're not hearing that. 100%. He's just lucky. There's guys walking mm. around with stuff on them, just walking around. Nobody has died. No yeah. cars involved, and yeah. I, they get in trouble for it. Do you know what I mean? I, yeah. Like like I don't know. Maybe he got community service. Maybe he got something. I'm, I don't even need you know, him to be punished. He should get I'm something. I'm just thinking from the sure. point of view of the family. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What they have to see right now, I think, is very difficult, and it does give a story. I know everyone's saying, "What's the actual facts?" It doesn't say anything about his character or whatever. But just for their point of view, it gives a story of a very entitled very privileged young white boy who managed to get off killing my husband boyfriend brother or whatever and has now gone on to continue he's still using you can call it self-medication and I can hear it like if you kill someone you might want something to take the edge off right but it's like so your consequence is doing the more of Whatever guilt. I think it's unfair. Do... I just think it's a non-story. I think it's the people why why we even posted to put it back in the family's face. Because obviously, like he done what he done. They lost their lives beforehand. Yeah. He's already busted the case. He hasn't been reprimanded for it. All right, cool. And then now you're bringing him back up in people's face because he's been caught with weed or something like that. But essentially, he hasn't even done anything. Like the first time's already gone. They've already yeah. dealt with that. Like he should have got he should have got punished for that before, yep. but he didn't. And he didn't. You get what I'm trying to say? And then now we're moving on and it's back in the thing and we want to vilify him. Like this time around, he hasn't even done anything. Yeah. What's he done? We- they just found weed. Just I don't know where they go. They just got weed. So I know, what? but since we're keeping with the rules, weed is illegal, right? Who cares about rules? You, 
You weed is legal, yeah. Ain't no one care that weed is illegal, bro. You just defined murder versus ki- like I don't. You're very selective when you. No, but you're saying you're saying you're saying because he broke the. If he committed another crime, if he crashed that another is a car, crime, or, my king. Like, no, but I'm saying he just had weed this time. I'm saying this time around, if you're telling me he hasn't done anything. I feel like the only reason why this is in the news is because he did the first thing he did. Yeah. Because so many people get convicted of weed and cocaine and like heavy stuff every day and they don't do it. I think because of the of first thing he did. the first story. Yeah, and yeah. that makes sense. But I feel like as well, even that, that's kind of insensitive to the family. When you know that he got away with it again, he got away with another crime, that's insensitive to the family mm. because that's a trigger for them. Mm. Now, they, now they're going to see the, the news and be like, he got away with the first one, got away with the second one. It's still the same kind of base. It's still all that kind of stuff. That's tricky and, for the family. and, I, and I feel like what they should have done was held that case in private. Yeah. I genuinely feel like they should have done that in private. I don't but, know how anybody feels if somebody killed somebody that you cared about, right? But I kind of think if that person didn't go to prison, your only comfort is that this person, I don't know, becomes a pillar of community or whatever. I'm not saying taking weed stops you from that, but I'm saying from their point of view, it's like, raw, the key ingredient in why my loved one isn't here is what you're like it just the whole story. I think will just sit with the family the worst in the worst way, and that's all I'm thinking. No matter what happens, that's what, the family that's what I'm thinking. Are, that. Are I know, I know, I know. I mean, shit yeah. like that happens every day. I'll be honest with you. So, it's, man, just, it's, man, just, it's a shame, but our prayers are with the families of the. Yeah, of the, of the like, be, this, that, that shit like that happens every day, man. Don't don't care. It's a shame. Also, this is the Blackpool guy. If you want context, oh no, I've seen him. Have seen already? Yeah, I was watching the oh, okay. Sports yeah. News last night. This first time I've seen him. So. Okay, well, all right then. Well, um, let's move on. Well, now I'm surprised. I don't know what's going to be in this next segment, but jumping into that, I know. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I can saw, see you here, I yo. Said, yeah. Mugs, I I'm, I'm, I'm prepared to fight you right now, bro. But hey, well, do you support Arsenal? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yo, we are Bix this morning, <laughs> big man. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You're going to be seen there tomorrow. Let's go. <laughs> oh, hey, it's time to shine. This is what I'm telling you. You're I don't even know. <laughs> Brent has to watch this. Brent's moving like he wants to stop the filming. No, I'm not. Brent said, no, I'm not. He nibbled. Oh, he nibbled. <laughs> Brent said, you're not talking with chess. <laughs> listen, I t- listen, my segment, my favorite part of the show. You know who's done at it? Arsenal <laughs> Football Club and their fan base. These are finished. These are meaty. I don't know if you don't know. <laughs> not meaty, child. Um, Fam, you're below us on the table, bro. Oh, look, they're triggered. It's, sorry. You're below, I, you're, you're, I, you're below us on the table. Did I talk over your segment? <laughs> <laughs> no. Did I talk over your segment? But you contributed. Oh, and I'm contributing to yours. <laughs> well, and then you usually, text. usually, I get my mother to go right, cool, cool, and then cool, I open cool. up the open It's only my room. second day, y'all. It's only my second day. It's only my second day. Actually, screw it. Hey, Arsenal, you are so shit. You see, on Football We Fellas, yeah, they had me and they ambushed me. Like, they, they literally battered me around the table for about an hour and a bit about how how Arsenal are the blueprint for, oh, wow. for, for European football. And this, this is the model and the formula that my team need to be following. I need to learn from these men and I need to humble myself and all of this crap. Oh, I need to show you up the picture. What's the group chat saying? Is it silent? Silent. <laughs> Silent. Listen, the silence is deafening. It's deafening. It is deafening. No one ain't saying nothing. These men are moving. Hey, listen. They anyway, yeah. Because it was all in their own hands, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oh, it's all in our own hands. What happened, man? Okay, look. Now, 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 now you can open. jump in. Now, now you can jump in. I'm gonna open right. up to you. What What happened was, yeah, we've got a very young squad who I don't think have the kahunas for these type of, you know. Not Mexican balls. What's the word I'm looking for, bruv? These, these moments, isn't it? Okay, but Why, was, that, and, and, was that your sentiment before them two games that you just lost? Yeah, I've always believed, the thing is, one, our squad is very small, very thin, yeah? And we're just, we're just, we're just playing these young players every single week. These men are tired. They're, these men are burnt out. And we've got a manager who's inexperienced, who this is his, what, his third rodeo. He hasn't got enough experience. The players haven't got enough experience. And even against Tottenham, I was like, this is men against boys. Do you think, do this, you think, this, do you think Spurs this, are better than this, this, They are. This Arsenal team, yeah, I get what they're saying about a blueprint. Right now, we are a good blueprint, but you know what the problem is? We're too young. If we keep the same team for like five, six years, we're going to be beasts, yeah? Saka, Smith Rowe, Odegaard, Martin they're bad boys, but they're just too young. And I don't, I think we just, how, we we crumbled under the pressure. How well do you think you're going to fare in the league next season knowing that you're going to be playing like Thursday, Sunday? 
it could be depending on what happens in the summer, it could be worse because we we, we done this playing once a week, like, and that's why it's so frustrating. We have no European football, you know. I'm glad playing I once a week. Fence so close to me because I can. All these questions I just want to wheel off you to ask. Yeah. Me. Can you remember the last time? You can time... ask me, Mugs. I also know <laughs> this yeah. stuff. I know this stuff. It's a goal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, silly. Can you remember? Yeah, yeah. the last time. Yeah, uh, like quote unquote top six team. Mm. Yeah, played one game a week and didn't make Europe. Chelsea, and then they won the league in the season. Oh, you mean in the actual season? I can't remember. Who was that? Arsenal? Chelsea, Who was that? Chelsea won the league. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, that's what I said. Yeah, but I'm saying is that season that they play once a week. Yeah, but Chelsea were better than Arsenal. Like, like Chelsea were a good team. They just, they just, they just capitulated. Yeah, but what I'm saying before. is that they had once a week football yeah. and, then they, and then they won the league. Yeah. United finished thing with Van Gaal. Yeah. He was playing once a week. Yeah. No Europe. We got top four. Yeah. Who, Spurs... Yeah, but yeah, but those teams, yeah, but those teams are all better than this team. What I'm trying to say, but these are still a top six team. That's what. On, on, to be fair, when the season's no, well, I'm, I, prior, I'm, I don't know because these can fact check me. But I'm gonna make a statement here. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's right or not. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say mm. a top six team yeah, mm. has never only had to play one game a week here and not, and not made it into the top four. Well, then you know it's the first time for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's a listen. Take. I can't defend Arsenal right now. Because, you think I could have done that? You think I could have come with that answer? Because, exactly. because they have capitulated. At Man says, "Say la vie." Everything was in our own <laughs> hands. <laughs> Even if we grabbed a couple points from them three games we lost in a row, like at any point in the season, we could have saved three games in a row. We, we, we could have saved our season. Like that's how Damn. that's how that's how dire this is, isn't it? Ooh, and yeah. if all the fact that Spurs have to play Norwich in the last game, which Norwich are bottom of the league, they, they've been relegated. They're, they're going to smash Norwich. There's no hope for us, isn't it? It's done. Yeah, they, they, they can even draw on this thing. All right, why so did, just why did you call us top six, Mugs? Why would I call you a top six team? Yeah. No, we are we are top six. It's not top no, six. No, no, it's no, a big no, no. six. Why why do you call us a top six? Why I I don't. I only believe in top four, but they opened up the top six and I, so I'll put you in there. Are I you think. now part of the top six? Who us? Yeah, I'm, of course I'm, they are I'm because the because four. they're six. I'm part of the top four. Well, you're six right now, though. No, I, currently, but I'm not in the top four. We're part, I'm, I'm in the big four still. My team is... My nah, team is, impossible. Okay, Maynard in big four. It's a matter of Yeah, opinion. in terms of status it's fine. and it's history, a matter of I'm saying, currently I'm, right now, Maynard not in top four. That's fine. I don't want to argue opinion. Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, and, and what? United? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the, big, that's the biggest four clubs in the country. Yes. Yes, biggest four clubs in terms of status. Yeah, so we're the big four. The top six don't always finish in the top six. You said the were six last year. Yeah, but... It's not, not about yeah, but, yeah, but we ain't arguing about the who's, six, who's the biggest Spurs club. Spurs and Arsenal. We're not yeah. arguing about who's the Spurs, biggest club. You add Spurs because and Arsenal. you are the biggest club. You add Spurs That's and not Arsenal an argument. Like, yeah, I'm talking change, about what four. is happening right now. Look, you the... man are in the Europa League with us. Look, Welcome. The other teams, it changed the big four into the big six. And being one of them big six teams doesn't necessarily mean you're going to finish in the sixth place because you was finishing eighth and all that. And yeah, you're yeah. still considered one of those teams. Yeah. So regardless of all that, I, I, look, Brent, now, since you want to get involved, open up. How do you feel about the situation, Brent? Uh, I think that um, at the beginning of the season, I was hoping that we made top six. Um, I think that our project is, um, it's not a short-term project. At all. I'm actually backing Ateta. I actually like Ateta. I, I actually hope he is given the time and the money to kind of flex. He spent $160 million last year. Yeah, I know. I, I'm, a, I'm aware. He did, but we also... But on a, prior to that, he spent none. He spent 87 before that. He spent 250 million that's, in two seasons. That's nice. On fun. who? Party was 40 something. He's always, um, he's always injured. Party was 40 something or 50 something. Pablo Mari was only like one point thing long. Dead outside. Then he rose to five. Gabriel was 30 something. That's 87 there. Good signing. Then the next, then the next season. All right. So cool. So we exceeded my expectations this this year, right? Oh, is it? Oh, you know what? Same, okay, same here. Hundred percent. Do you remember how the season started? Oh yeah, I thought we were done out here, bro. No, no pun intended. <laughs> yeah. So well, yeah. the fact that we're fighting for full space right now is a shock to me. I'm so excited to watch Arsenal again. I'm not saying that you know I'm happy that we've fallen out of top four. I'm not, but I never thought we'll be here. I thought we'll nah, be we'll be lingering in seventh eighth again. Honestly. 100%. So I I am looking forward to the summer. I would have preferred if we had picked Tottenham. If it was a case of Man United and Tottenham, I would have preferred Man United to be there as opposed to Tottenham, right? Yeah, yeah But it, 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 it happened how it happened. And I m kind of more rule the Crystal Palace and Southampton loss as opposed to the, the flipping Tottenham loss. Um, we could have, we didn't need to be in this particular position. But again, I am fine with this particular season. Right now I'm vexed because the game happened yesterday. But 
100% I'm fine with the season And I'm looking forward to the summer well, Okay well just in closing yeah, yeah I want to say yeah Because people are telling me That I should be looking at Arsenal Arsenal club and Arsenal fans As to where I should like Have my expectations And my mentality And stuff no. like that And for me personally That's just way too low Because I'm saying That Spurs and Arsenal Look North London rivalry rah, 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 mm. Like They've been your rivals For God knows how long yeah. and Now they're better than you It's crazy yeah Spurs yeah This yeah yeah. To be fair, I, just, I see Man United as more rivals than Spurs. Okay, that's cool. Spurs this year, yeah, sacked the manager. Mm. Yeah, it was going so bad here. Yeah, they sacked the manager and got a good manager, and then got a manager in who's better. Than, still, who's better than our manager? And then, and then finished, and then finished above you, and bought players yeah. in January. And your manager has got a new contract two weeks ago. Because so it's, it's a long, 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 long term. Vision. One yeah, club is working on their vision and progression, and one club is rewarding. Mediocrity. No. Huh? No, no, no. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's, run up your, oh, your Spurs is that's just that's just that's just the way it looks to me. Marks, in this current climate, in this league, where do you expect Arsenal to, to, to be finishing? Realistically. I think we are finishing where people think we're gonna finish. Eighth. Yeah, I fifth, thought you were seventh. You know I mean? eighth, yeah. So no one the Arsenal board don't think Arteta is gonna win the league. Oh, you went on a good run, man. You went on a good run and you were doing that thing where you just weren't drawing. You was either winning or losing. That's big. We've only, drawn, big we've only drawn three games. If you would have yeah, drawn then, a couple then, more games, we'd we'll be in fourth. And then you went on that run where you won like seven games out of eight or something. You was picking up results, yeah. getting them. And, and then, then, but then again. it's not capitulation. It's the last end of the season out of like 11 of the games, from like seven of them were away, bro. Like away games we lost, in a joke. We lost six of 11, I think. Oh, no, but seven, seven of the games were away, bro. Your last running weren't, weren't a joke. You got serious team to play against. I hear that, playing but against stuff. It wasn't. Uh, you can call it capitulation, but the running wasn't. I'm not gonna the lie. Running wasn't easy. Marks, losing something. losing three games in a row to those teams is, is capitulation. Even though we bounced back and beat United, Chelsea, West Ham. If we drawed one of them three games, we'll be in fourth. Nice, or even two. Like it's it's ridiculous, bro. Arsenal, man, it's ridiculous, and their performances as well. Listen, they were so flat. So flat, bro. Yeah, anyway. going up. You're done at here. I agree with you. Also done at here, still. <laughs> no, it's, honestly, it's riveting. Um, I'm not quite thinking, can we end this football? No, no, it? I'm not actually. I was listening, but I just also know I can't participate because Mark's ain't going to, he ain't going to engage. He ain't going to engage. This is heavy football talk, so I've got to just respect you lots. Stay I just think that, business. <laughs> like, I just think that you had a lot to say to Yusuf and Brent. Yes, when I asked you a simple question earlier. <laughs> <laughs> You wanted to have a heart attack, and that's just crazy to me. So, so what's going to happen? Your when, energy's not the same. When Manchester <laughs> United is in done out here, who's going to do that? Who's no, they are in done out here. They're below us, yeah, girls. Yeah, they're below us. So they are also done out here. I just want to say, doesn't it seem like I've added a really good um, point to this segment, and I wasn't even trying to? Okay, so no, no, you should speak because you were talking a lot earlier. Yeah, so do, do you have any words for Manchester any words? United? Oh uh, no, I don't know. Done out here. Huh? The, the, this is Arsenal's time to shine. <laughs> if you know, if, if if something transpires and United have to make the segment, he's yeah. gonna call in sick. <laughs> he ain't coming in. Wait, 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 wait! You don't believe they have to? They, they belong in the, in, the, in the segment now because they're below us. The team that you've put in done out here, you're below us, and by a considerable amount of points too. You know what it is, yeah? I wish. <laughs> I'm, uh, you know what it is, yeah? Because I'm I've experienced my own thing in it, yeah. yeah. So I wish that. I'm, I wish everybody that sees this, that hears this, yeah, could even watch what happened to me on Filthy Fellas so we could put context into okay. the situation, like, because the way <laughs> you, man, were acting, and I'm saying you, man, because it's you, man. It does, you didn't mm. have to be there. It's you, it's your fan fans, yeah. 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 The way you, man, were acting and what you tried to do to me, yeah, is ridiculous. And this is your comeuppance. You get what I'm trying to say? So it's you that's done out like, here, yeah. not us. Because we're meaty anyway. You know what I'm trying to say? That? <laughs> I'm glad you said that. We had to sack our gaffer. Everything's going wrong. It's cool. It's fine. You had like eight gaffers since Fergie, bro. Uh, no, but I mean, it's not. It's not. It's, it's not been that bad. And I try and tell people to explain it. Like this was. This probably might be. What's this? The first or second time you second time you finished above us since in, in, since Fergie's gone. Um, that would have been your first time you've even played Champions League football since Fergie's gone. Yeah. Like the thing is, I don't like, even care about. Are, are, I, I, bro, I, don't, I don't even care about playing Champions League football. I just want the players that be in a, in a competition would would attract. That's it. We ain't going to win it. We're not going to compete. I just want to be there so we can attract players. That's the only reason why I care. Simple. We're not, Arsenal not going to win the Champions League. I think, yeah, I think for the past how long we've been doing like this little shit thing that the fans yeah. do yeah, where we've both been shit. Yeah. So we've been trying to get a little one-up over each other and whoever's yeah, yeah. doing better feels like they're doing better. Yeah. In my personal opinion, we've been better than you the whole time. 
Yeah, that's. I just think it just seems different because our drop is from from up so high. But I honestly believe we've been betting these the whole time. If you got Champions League this year, this yeah. season, it would have been hard for anyone to make an argument that you are currently better because the proof's in the pudding and you've yeah. earned it and you're playing Champions League. Mm. The fact that it was in your own hands and you stumbled across at this hurdle in this last minute and then now you're still not even going to be playing Champions League, giving it all that, talking all that shit and then you're going to be in Europe with us next year, then it's even, then even even though you've finished above us, I'm still convinced that you're not better than us. Like, Europa <laughs> bros. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. like you are done out here, man. You are trash, man. Like, and we are as well, don't get me wrong. But you are, so. Yeah, I don't know. I see there is more <laughs> yeah, Quay. No, no, no. Quay is just like, okay, guys, wrap it up. No, no, I just, I really I'm really looking at my guys. device over there and I'm yeah. thinking, I gotta. I'm, I'm really loving this. All the right, fact let's... that there is more progress um, perceived in our future than United is is what fills me with glee. So, where you say you, <laughs> you, are, you guys are just better, not, you guys are living off of dregs, <laughs> literally. Do you understand? Hmm. I'm interested to see what happens next year. Like, yeah, when Ten Hag comes, we'll see what Ten right, Hag cool. can do. May right. men be this passionate about Christ. Um, <laughs> and so, <Yeah. laughs> we move forward. And guys, that's the end of the show. So let's end this now. All right, guys. So that is today's episode. We spoke about a lot of things. Right. You know, football, crime, we had an amazing debate about the word nigger and we started off with giving head. So this has been a fantastic episode. A full circle moment. A full circle moment. Honestly. <laughs> From head to headers. Because that's a football term, right? Uh, Ooh, thank you. Oh, yes, thank you. girl. I just stung to hole in one. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. But um, guys, obviously shout out to all the guests. You lot did, a, not a guest, sorry. Shout out to all the hosts. You lot did amazing. Shout out to the guests for coming through. But especially shout out to everyone who tunes in and listen. I see you guys. I see you guys even comments putting yeah. us up on your story we love it. engaging reaching out to ask questions as well we proper proper appreciate it yeah. um obviously this was the first time we did the rotation so let yusuf know how much you fucked with it and liked it and he'll be Hold on that boy. um if there's anything <laughs> and also yusuf i want to put something to you as well i really think tda should be the place to break new artists as well okay. so do you think it's a good idea for people i should probably ask you this off air <laughs> <laughs> this is like a production meeting <laughs> But anyway, if if there is good music out there that's yeah. for lesser known artists, yeah. maybe you should have a segment where you break yeah. them. Yeah, that's do you know what people could do? What's that? They could send, send, music. Me, send music to you and then you review. Sh- yes, and come I'm, on. I'm, I'm honest, you know. I give honest reviews. But that's what people need. Yeah. That's yeah. what people need. All right, cool. Okay, so, production. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll we'll, give them the details yeah, yeah. of who to reach out to so that right, you're cool. not inundated. You know, some of these girls are thirsty. We don't want to be causing the troubles for you. So, <laughs> what we're going to do is if you guys want to get, uh, oh, first of all, follow us on all social media platforms. Um, make sure you comment and share the videos, be the plug in your group. But if you guys want to be involved, you want to send a voice note, send a text message, or maybe even be part of a segment with your stories or something like that, reach out to 075 that's 075-6484-1073 Brent is in charge of that number You keep Shoot saying this Your motherfucking shit. <laughs> Running Brent's He's market fine brother um, Okay and then on top of that guys From the beginning of June We are going live on Patreon So head over there Be a part of the family um, Ask us questions Interact with us We may even be able to get you Your voices live on air And all of that I don't know Brent's a computer person But um, yeah definitely make sure You're part of the family And if you want to inquire About the show If you want to um, or wish, wish to feature on the show or perhaps a product of yours who knows uh, make sure you email the team at the day after at the new black black has an x not an a dot com love have a great day guys bye bye